Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are following us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Give us a five-star rating. It massively helps us out. Enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, Pitchside, as you know, is sponsored by Le Bomb. Now, we are about to head into the final game week of the season, game week 38 for the Premier League. Le Bomb is a predictions-based game where you predict scorelines for the Premier League. And as it's the final game week of the season, you've only got one game week left to play it with your mates. This is the perfect app for you if you're fed up of losing money to the bookies and want to take money off your mates instead. All you've got to do is to get involved, download it in the description, set up a league with your friends, predict the scorelines for Game Week 38. Now, the beauty of Game Week 38 is they're all going to be at the same time. They're all a four o'clock kickoff on Sunday, which means you're going to have to get it downloaded before those games kick off, set a league up with your friends and basically decide amongst yourselves who knows the most ball now that's a topic of interest on pitch side and i imagine it's exactly the same in your circle of friends not only this but pitch side are willing to give you a le bomb shirt if you get over 100 points this game week download le bomb it is in the description you need to be over 18 and please gamble responsibly Get downloading. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pitch Sides. Theo. Oh, mate. So basically, uh, Theo is currently filming in Qatar with Kylian Mbappe and Neymar. It's all right for some. Um, so fortunately, we are joined by the best footballer I've ever played with personally, um, wow. Mr. Jesse Wallace-Lassen. Thanks for having me. Thanks Appreciate for coming it. on. You're now officially like a co-host as opposed to a yeah, guest. Yeah, so I'd dynamics rather are still be a guest, I think. Yeah, It's yeah. a bit too much pressure. No, there's no pressure on here. We, mm. did, we, we don't even... Well, I don't really like football anymore, to be honest. I'm now converted <laughs> uh, to cricket. So, yeah, football uh, as a sport is behind me as of last night. Mm. Because... Good, good game, though. <laughs> 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 yeah, so we are filming this after Newcastle beat Arsenal 2-0 which um, unfortunately probably means that we are now no longer a top four team. Well. Well. No. <laughs> well. As of when? Yeah. <laughs> as of a couple of seasons ago. All right. Yeah. He's, oh, no, you he's were got poor. it in early. You were, you were very poor. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed with how that game ended up being played out because obviously when the chips were down and we needed to win, it's not even like the result. Mm. Like the result I could take if it was a 2-0 and it's just like, you know, we've given it everything. Uh, uh, you see the second goal when Xhaka gave it away and yeah, just yeah, like yeah. walking back. Yeah. I think that kind of highlights. Which, is anno- which, which annoys me because Xhaka in his interview, I don't yeah. know if you saw it afterwards, uh, he was like, uh, yeah, saw some if, of it. if people can't hack it, go home. Yeah. Don't play the yeah. game. <laughs> Mate, what are you <laughs> yeah. doing? And he's walking back. Yeah. But um, credit to Newcastle. Very good team. Incredibly impressive this year under Eddie Howe. Yeah, way um, better. Do you, would you give Eddie Howe manager of the season? Mm. It depends how you measure it, right? Yeah. Like, what does Klopp or mm. Pep have to do to get it? Um, it's, I guess it's easier to give it to, to them, right? Especially yeah. because people expect it from the top teams, yeah. especially Pep and Klopp now. It's like they just, they're going to get 90 odd points every year. So. If that is else, mental, isn't know, it? That is the, the, the standard that they've set is actually ridiculous mm. that 90 points is out the um, base mark. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a Pep fanboy. Yeah. So I'd give it to him. But you're, you're, for people that don't know, you're actually a football coach. Yes. So, I mean, explain away if you fancy. Um, so yeah, I do mostly one-to-one football coaching. Yeah. Um, I coach a couple of teams or do a couple of group sessions along the way, but mostly one-to-ones, which is basically uh, personal training, but for football. Yeah. So uh, either I have a range from people that have never played before that their parents will message me and be like, my kid doesn't play and he gets bullied at school because he can't kick a ball, which is usually... Is that, that's is. quite rewar- rewarding, right? Oh, yeah, 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 massively, massively. And then I get some like academy kids, which is also massively rewarding. If yeah. they're, I've got one um, kid who's under 11, I think he is playing at Spurs at the moment. And like apparently the progression over the last couple of weeks has been been really good so yeah you get a range of all different people and it's i prefer the better players just because i feel like with my imagination you can think of any drill yeah and the kid can do it yeah, yeah. whereas with more limited players which i still enjoy especially if they they love football that's like a must for me yeah yeah um 
you have to be a lot more specific and you have to think real basic in regards to what you're doing. So yeah. so it can be tough, but on the whole, um, on the, I love my job. Love it. Wouldn't change it. Yeah. It's interesting that you mentioned Spurs Academy because yes. you've been there, done that. Been, <laughs> been there, done that. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah. So um, yeah, I'll go into the kind of spiel of, yeah, of how yeah. I started. So played, um, joined my first team when I first went to secondary school. So 11, 12. Um, was there for about a year or two before getting a trial at Spurs. Had a six-week trial, um, which overran and turned into basically me going up to one of the coaches and being like, what's happening kind of thing. And they were like, oh, they not told you, we've signed you. Yeah. So I was like, oh, sweet. That must be sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, unbelievable. And I, like, I was a Spurs fan growing up. Yeah. So You still support them, right? Mm. Okay. Because I was, I was going to bring it up whether or not, you know. I don't know. I'm more, I'm more just a football fan now. Yeah, yeah. Like I love watch, I watch anyone, especially, like, especially the top teams. Like, yeah. I love watching Liverpool, love watching City, um, love watching Barcelona. If people ask me, I say I'm a Barcelona fan. Do you have a preference? Of? Liverpool City. City. Okay. Is that because of Pep? Uh, partly because of Pep um, and partly their play style. Yeah. I, don't, I feel like Liverpool are so unbelievable. Yeah. But can only do it with certain players. Right. Whereas I feel like you can chop and change with City a little more. Obviously, yeah. you, don't get me wrong, you have to be unbelievable. Yeah. But you can put, you can replace Rodri or yeah. you, can re you can replace individual players. Liverpool, you can't, re well. you got to be careful, mate. There's a lot of Liverpool fans yeah. that say Joe Gomez is as good as Trent Alexander-Arnold. Oh, really? So, well, I don't know. But uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so, yeah, I mean, if you replace Salah with Origi, are they going to do the same thing that they do? Yeah. Probably not. Right, whereas I feel like City, you can chop and change a little more. It's true. It's like a system yeah, that you just like, exactly. fill players in with. Um, so, yeah, so I was there. Uh, then left school, uh, signed my scholarship, which is from 16 to 18. Some yeah. people call it a what used, used to be called a YTS. Um, what does that and, stand for? I um, don't know. Oh. Any research? Oh, yeah, look. he's, he's, he's yeah. the facts man. So. Okay, why, uh, I'm guessing youth something scholarship. Probably. Um, so signed that uh, scholarship at 16. So left school, didn't do GCSE, uh, did my GCSEs, left school, didn't do A-levels. And then, have you got it? Yeah, it's Youth Transforming Society. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, yeah. did that um, while A-level. So you do like a, um, I did a B-tech while I was there, which yeah, yeah. basically you, you go to college once a week, you sit there and they tick you off at the end of it. It, was, yeah. it, it didn't prepare you for anything or doesn't prepare you. I don't know if it's changed a little bit. Um, and then during my two-year scholar, um, signed a one-year pro. And then during my pro season, um, didn't go quite to plan, broke my ankle during the year. But I don't like, I feel like you say that every every ex or every ex footballer says, oh, why, do, why don't you play anymore? I broke, broke my ankle or got an injury. I, like, I, I'm not that guy. I, I don't think they would have re-signed me anyway. Yeah. The three coaches at the time of the reserve team were Les Ferdinand, Tim Sherwood and Chris Ramsey. Wow. So yeah, so like yeah. all-star three. Yeah. But I just, especially with Tim Sherwood, who was like the top of the three, he just wasn't having me. Didn't like, didn't, I don't think he liked me personally and didn't like me as a player, which happens in football. Yeah. Um, so I don't think I would have, even if I didn't break my ankle, I mean, you never know, but I don't think I would have, would have stayed there. I don't do, think they do you ever me. think that your career or journey would have gone differently if the, like, if it wasn't a Tim Sherwood? Yes. But saying that I had, um, John McDermott, who's now head of coaching at the FA, I believe, and Alex Inglethorpe, who is now head of academy at Liverpool. So again, two unbelievable people in football, had them as my youth team coaches for two years and they loved me and yeah. under them I like flourished and was unbelievable. So if I had not had them at that, if I had a Tim Sherwood, at a, I might have been even, even got pro. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So you, you need you need a bit of luck and um, and we'll probably go on to, to speak about some of the players I played with, but someone like Harry Kane or or players that, someone like Tom Carroll, yeah. um, were they were they the level that they are now when you were with them, or were you playing with them and being like, "Come on, boys, pick up the slack"? Like, no, I mean de definitely not that. You know, it's ne it's never really like that. But I always get that question with Harry Kane. Like, yeah. oh, do, do people know I came. Sorry, up the same, same. No, it's, it's, no, no, it's good, it's good. <laughs> but people always ask. It's like, oh, did you know? Did you know he's gonna be? No, yeah, not at all. His and you'll you'll hear it from any interview. Like his finishing has always been unbelievable in training. Like just even his, that age. yeah, his consistency was yours better though because I know yours is no ridiculous. No, 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 mine was not better. Really? No, no chance. No chance. His, not even left foot. No, I didn't have a left foot until I was about nineteen. Oh, really? Yeah. His his ability to strike the ball cleanly with pure technique, consi consistently over and over is is incredible and always has been. I thought because of 
especially comparing him to the first team then. So like Gareth Bale, Luka Modric, um, <laughs> yeah. Aaron Lennon, these very like physically quick, yeah. strong players. And then looking at Harry Kane, who is a little limited yeah. physically, I thought, okay, he'll play probably championship, be unbelievable goal scorer, score tons of goals. But to do what he's done, I, I never thought it would happen. Yeah. And fair play to him. Uh, is there a little bit of you that's like, genuinely happy for him because obviously oh yeah completely yeah. I, I think maybe maybe at that age like 19 20 21 I mean I'm 29 now I think maybe then a little bit of envy or like oh, yeah, I wish I was there but I definitely grew out of that and I think most people do what what made coaches think that he was ready for well again he went on level. he went on loan to so lower teams yeah he... he went to like I'm pretty sure he went late in Orient he definitely played at Norwich for a bit he played a bit of championship football um, and was then at Leicester for a bit as well. Right? Yeah, he was at Leicester for a little bit, and then it might have even been Tim Sherwood who gave him his first start really? for Spurs. Yeah, oh my God. Um, which is funny. So because he used to, we we always played four three three at Spurs, and he always or mostly always when we were under 18s played as the ten, so like attacking midfielder. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't until end of that second year that he started playing a bit more as a number nine. So that's why he's got his number. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, okay. I, I don't know. I don't know if that's the reason. Oh, right. Okay. Um, but usually, I mean, like usually, most youth players carry their number. Well, Foden has. Yes. Trent has. Yeah. Well, oh no, sorry. He played as a number ten, but oh, he would, his, his squad number would have been. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I mean, mine was seventy three. He would have had a. <laughs> yeah. he, everyone, it just goes. I think it's alpha, alphabetical. Like, so ah. the first year scholars that come in get a number, and then when you go to a second year, you change number. So it just and it goes okay. down each year. Um, and I'm guessing Foden would have had a higher number until he was in like reserves, which is probably when he made his first start. Yeah, forty seven. So I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I, I think. Yeah. I think anyway. Um, that's how it works. But it's interesting first. that he's picked ten then. When he when he is Mister Number Nine at the club that he's been at, yeah. What number would you pick? Four. Yeah, I think. What well, and exactly? But then, what if you became a? I mean, four is more a holding midfielder. Yeah, I know. Than it a centre back. Yeah, yeah. So what if you play centre back? Four or five. Though, well, exactly. So that's I'd like what I mean. Twelve because so. that's my birthday. But okay, like, twelve man. When, yeah. <laughs> well, like, who's who's a memorable twelve? Anyone? Maybe I could be exactly late career. Then. Yeah, it was very, very, very late, late career. career. <laughs> but um, but yeah, it's. I, I think it's just like I would have. I'd, I think I'd pick number ten, even if I didn't play in that position. I think it's yeah. just a number you you pick. Maybe maybe a player that you like growing up. Yeah, is often Messi's your favorite, right? Messi, yeah, always. Yeah, yeah. Best. Actually, I had. It's a, weird uh, hearing that from that chair, yeah. you know. That's just yeah, I've never. I've seen, like, you know what? Going I, on? I was preparing for Theo. I was like, <laughs> oh really? Oh, yeah. Because I, I was See, just so for the people that don't know, I didn't actually mention that it was just me and mm -hmm. Jesse until today. But I didn't. I I wasn't sure if you'd gathered from my messages that it was just us two. No, I didn't. Okay, sorry. So that's that's no, it's all good. That's poor planning uh, on my behalf. Well, but. yeah, I did a bit of research to shut him down. But oh really? Yeah. What did you have prepared? Just well. I know. I've, I'm I've, 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 Okay. Well, oh, I've, Ronaldo! Well, that's a, I've seen the clips of him just, <laughs> he just, I feel like he's one of those people. He's a bit like Donald Trump in that sentence, where he'll, <laughs> where he'll just, he, he says opinions as facts. Right, right. Yeah, and but he's good at that. Yes, I, but then he backs, and, no, and he'll keep going and keep, and, until someone, I think there's yeah. a couple of clips of you then correcting him. Yeah. And him being like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he'll back down yeah. when he knows a fact is, well, an opinion isn't actually yeah, a yeah. fact. But I, that's the, I, I give, give super, uh, Theo Baker that superpower yeah. of being so adamant that he's correct. That it he is good. Any yeah, opinion he runs, runs it through. That, that, it, must, like, it must be really good translating outside of a podcast. Yes. I mean, you, <laughs> I, I see it. I don't know if other... Because I've, I've, on, I've honestly heard so much shite in real life that I've never questioned. Yeah. But because he's told me, I go, oh, all right, cool. And then I bring it up in another conversation. They go, what are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> so you look then you yeah, look like the idiot yeah, and, and like, you're probably willing to then say oh <laughs> yeah so I don't know it's, 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 a, it's, it's brilliant it's yeah brilliant. it is it is and he, he he's very funny with it and I think he obviously he goes so far to say I don't I've been watching um, you know Speed the streamer yeah like he's just so funny I yeah. think he's I think he's a marketing genius by yeah, the way yeah. on how he knows have you seen the one of him pronouncing FIFA players? Yeah. He's opening yeah, yeah. packs and like, yeah. he'll get like, Harry Murgler. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. He knows what he's doing. And I think Theo is a little bit like that. He knows that yeah, Messi's Becky unbelievable. That. Yeah. This is complimentary. Exactly. Mate. He knows Messi's unbelievable. And yeah, yeah. But he he'll be he like, does. oh, Messi's shit. Yeah. Kind of thing. So yeah, yeah. it's, um, but it's, it's the whole Rio Ferdinand, let's not try and compare and just enjoy them both. Because honestly, at this point, they haven't got much 
long no, time. no, and I, I feel not. I don't feel bad for him, but it's obviously tough. Yeah. Like, and to see Ronaldo still doing well, but. I think the only argument for that, people say, well, Ronaldo can go and do it in different leagues. I think it has been easier for him because he, when he was young, went to United from Lisbon yeah. and then moved to Madrid. And so he's used to that changing. Messi been at one club for his whole Absolutely, career. So yeah. I, I feel like to then say, oh, Messi can't do it at another club, that means that Ronaldo's better is, yeah. is an unfair fact. Is it, uh, opinion. Interesting that you mentioned like a one club uh, man mm -hmm. because we had Bez on uh, the weekend stream and he said... With Mark Noble, who just obviously that was his like last West Ham, well yeah, home West Ham game, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, saying will we ever get one club men in football again? Yeah. Do you think? You, yeah, I think you will. You'll get because we, we we brought up like the likes of Foden and Trent, who they're already at the best teams in the world. Like, yeah. Where do they move to? Well, if exactly. They do want I think to? that's that's what I was about to say. I don't. Uh, you you won't get it with clubs. I think it's rare for clubs like West Ham to do it. Yeah. Because. They're, they're, they're never, well, you never know if money comes in, but they're always going to fluctuate from yeah. fourth to 15th. I, I can't see them going down, but if they get an unbelievable player, Declan Rice is a good example, who's a really yeah, good yeah. player and maybe better than what they've got, especially if he if he's, has aspirations to play Champions League or, or play higher, people will leave. Whereas, like you say, like a Foden, the only way you can really, the only way I could see him leaving is going abroad. Yeah. Which, it, to be fair, is what I thought Harry you, Kane would do. Do you reckon? Yeah, I thought when that whole talk with Madrid, I thought he would go. Yeah. Um, now, I don't think he'll leave. Yeah. I think... Yeah, Wait, do you not think he'll leave Spurs? I don't think so. Really? You see him leaving? I don't know where he'd go. Exactly. Or if it was like Newcastle and they just chuck hundreds of millions at him. I always say... Uh, and people... Uh, it would be interesting how you answer it. What, what is the difference between earning 300 grand a week and 600 grand a week? What, mathematically? No, or just like... no. What is the difference in your lifestyle? <laughs> oh, nothing. Exactly. Like, nothing so changes. Th exactly. So that's, yeah. the, that's the way I see it is I think he's smart enough and he's got good people around him where what is that change in money? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you are earning, you're earning double effectively, but you've already got all the money you could ever want. You can go anywhere you want. You can do anything you want. Nothing changes. I also think as well, like, it's a weird one that although Kane's never really got like the trophies with Spurs... He's still creating history with Son. Mm -hmm. Like they'll forever be remembered as like the greatest Premier League duo ever. Yeah. If they, if let's just say they stick together for another three or four years, mm -hmm. nobody's ever going to come close to that pairing. No, and I mean he's still chasing Shearer, isn't he? Yeah. Um, and he's got a great person yeah. to try and help him with exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Well, although is is if he's just looking for goals, is Son the man? It's true. Because but I mean, so it, it, it's it's it, like oh, it's a tough one because obviously under Conte. Yes. He wants Kane to do really well. Yeah. So I think if he stays at Spurs in that system that now probably is going to get Champions League and is a progressive few seasons ahead, I suppose. Yeah. I reckon he comes close to Shearer. If, if Conte stays. Yeah, it's t I think it's very tough. I think he's got to stay... I mean, he's always going to get the pens, yeah. which he's... I mean, his ratio is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. He'll score the odd free kick, although not as many. And then he'll, he's, he'll get goals, but... Like it is tough, especially with Son as that more forward runner and yeah. him dropping in. I think he could slow down. It's it's one of those that the more they recruit, it's only going to fuel him better. And now that they do have fourth, yeah, theoretically, I guess it, it just depends on the system they play. Yeah, right. I th I think on the Conte, I don't think he scores as many. Yeah, um, and I don't think Spurs on the whole will score as many. But if he, if they Either. Wait, so you, th you, th you think Kane does better under a more attacking manager? Yeah, though? yes. Yeah, I think where he... Well, it, it, it depends on what kind of style. Again, though, if they want him... Clearly, Conte doesn't mind him dropping in a little and him linking up with Son in regards to, like, he, he can drop in and Son will do the running. Um, especially with Kulisevsky now. As, as, it, they yeah. almost go... They start as a three and then they go, like, inverted. Yeah, and yeah, the wingers yeah. come in. So, I don't know. I think it's tough. I think it's tough, under, especially under Conte. But if he doesn't... I don't know how many he needs per season to, to catch him. Didn't we him. do the maths? Wasn't it like 20 a year for the next four years? Or yeah, I think it's something ridiculous. Like 20 so a year. He's capable of 20 so, yeah, a season. I think, yeah, I, I think, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's possible. Again, he needs to stay injury free. He's yeah. been all right this year, but with his ankles, glass yeah. ankles, a bit like you. Mate, no. You Was bit, it? Yeah, ankle? I think you had a couple ankles. Not as bad as Freezy, but... No. Or Theo. Yeah, or Theo. Theo's. I know, I've never actually played with Theo. Have you not? No. 
Oh, yeah, because obviously yeah. Uh, bringing it up organically, hashtag hat on the table that was kind of given us to by Spencer, oh, nice. you moved to hashtag United off the back of scoring against them yeah. for Rebel FC at Wembley. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. cool that you've mentioned, you know, like all these, all the players that you've grown up with and stuff. Most of them might not have ever got the chance to play at Wembley, but through YouTube football, yeah. you've played at the home. Yeah, of football. It, it, that was that was mad. Like I still, it's funny because I'll still um, playing for hashtag and for the last. I've been there for three seasons now. Yeah. I think this was my third season. Um, I would still uh, like you know it's like on your timeline you'll get like a reminder of a year ago you posted this and <laughs> yeah, it'll be yeah. like the Wembley goal yeah. and I'll happily post it and like it's funny because one of the guys who works behind the scenes sometimes still plays um, Marcus Stamp he's the guy who yeah, like, yeah he's the one that you got across, the yeah, obviously yeah. Jacko was in goal yeah. who was still involved so I would still post it and some I don't know some people would joke about like that I shouldn't be posting it but I just it's like oh what because you're at the club yeah but yeah I do it as a bit of banner and has the always, has the hashtag journey currently going so uh we got promoted last year season was cut short um with the COVID. because of covid yeah, yeah, yeah as as was the season before but last season at the step we're at which i believe is step five is that five off conference four then? or five um no uh no five as in uh premier league wait i don't know yes yeah yeah, yeah, I yeah think, five yeah. off conference uh, off is it five off I think we're step four. I think it's four off league football. Okay. Professional. Right, right. Yeah. I, think, I think that's how it works. So conference, conference south, conference north. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, two, three. Yes, yeah, so I think we're step five or four. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. So it's, it's, a, it's a high quality yeah, standard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. Good, it's good non-league standard. Um, we got promoted last year on points per game, so it got, got cut short, but they said we want to have some kind of movement in yeah. the system rather than having two static years. And because of our results and points over the last two years, we averaged the most, so we went up. Um, and then this year we came eighth and we had to come, I think we had to finish fifth to get playoffs. Okay. So we did okay. Considering you yeah, get promoted yeah, yeah. and then go mid table, um, <laughs> the start of the season was horrendous. And, and it's, um, it's like Spencer was mentioning as well. Like when you go up a league in non-league football, the, the financial differences can massive, be huge. Massive. Yeah. I mean, you, you'll get the, you're always, every standard, you'll always get the odd team that pay, just pay money and they'll shoot up the leagues. Yeah. Um, but I, th I think hashtag can... Almost not necessarily get away with it, but I feel like they can attract better players. Sorry, can it's attract right. better no. players yeah. um, because of who they are. Yeah, players are more willing, especially got some great young players in this year. And I don't think they would have signed for hashtag if they weren't who they were. Because they, you know, if you're a decent player, you're going to get more eyes on you yeah. than you would if you're at the same yeah. club at the same league. So they've definitely got that going for them. Um, but I think where we finished, I, th I think it was eight. Um, is respectable yeah. if you get promoted and then finish eight. Do you have aspirations for next season? Um, not really sure, to be honest. Um, Dev's, Dev's the manager. is kind of making making the calls round and seeing what everyone's doing. Um, the, 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 the biggest things for me, I, I mean, I live in Stevenage, which is Hertfordshire, right? And yeah. um, hashtag play with ground show with uh, Bowers and Pitsy, which is in Basildon. So okay. it's all the way, it's down the A1 and all the way around the M25. Yeah. So it's, it's a slog. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, I don't know, 60, 70 miles per trip, per way, an Wait, hour. Wait, like 140 miles yeah, around trip? Yeah. Jesus. So it's, it's, it's a lot of traveling. And yeah. that is, for me, it's, it's a lot, especially with my coaching. Yeah. And that is the other thing, the coaching. Where do you coach? Mostly in London Colney. Okay. Um, but anywhere around Hertfordshire, really. But London Colney is kind of, there's a, there's a little AstroTurf place there that I kind of, have made my base. It's really, it's, it, it's so accessible. M25 yeah. is right next to it, close to the A1. It's right next F to the A1. few good other training grounds near there as well, right? Uh, yeah, Arsenal and Watford uh, right yeah, around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Watford going down, but yeah. Um, still so, good. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's still, <laughs> still good training ground. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll have to see. It's, it's a tough one. And I, I'm pretty open with, I would, if possible, if I could play for a team that play a, a nicer style of football in regards to passing football. Yeah. Um, that is what I would, I'd love to play for a club like that, but yeah. it's hard to find yeah. non-league clubs that And that Rebel FC out. obviously disbanded, so you can't, exactly, you can't play yeah. fluid. Yeah, exactly. Football. No, but Rebel, <laughs> I always say Rebel was the perfect happy medium for me. Right. It was, it was once a week. It was fun. The standard was good. We we had. We had we, I yeah. mean, you were you played. Yeah, so well, it was no, clearly the, pretty the good. The amount of other players we had that were yeah. good as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's similar to to Essie Don's, like 
People always call them a Sunday league team. I think that's a bit of a disservice. It is, it is. They, I mean, if they put their best 11 forward, I don't think there'd be one player that doesn't play Saturday football yeah. and earn circa £200 a week. Exactly, yeah. So you're not, you're not talking about Sunday league players. That's yeah. why I find it funny. I'm, I'm like friends with Big G, like we'll message from time yeah, to yeah. time. Um, I was injured, but he wanted me to go on his uh, his little YouTube series, Trench Work. But... Um, he always, he's always saying like, oh yeah, I'm the best Sunday league goal. Like, yeah, you are. Yeah. Because you're also like... Basically an international now. Exactly. Now well, exactly. Well. Yeah. So it's funny. Like, I, I love what they're doing, but it's they're, they're not a Sunday league team. Yeah. They are, but they're not. It's branding, right? Yeah, of at course. The end of, the day, of course. And, yeah. they're, and they've been the best at it from the beginning. That's why yeah. they started so small and rose past everyone. Maybe yeah, no, bar hashtag. Much, yeah, yeah. But it's very different in regards to how they've done things. But um, but yeah, it's funny when, when he says that. Yeah. Um, have you ever considered becoming a coach? I know obviously you do coaching one to one, but as in as in like management, coaching, yeah. no. Is, well, you're happy just playing. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've definitely considered it. Um, I think there's always there's always time for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah the other course. thing to consider, which which people don't re- like, is the is the financial side. Like playing non league, honestly, you can you can earn really good money playing non league. It's also yeah, some, some people leave yeah, they're, they're, actual football. It's, yeah, if you go if you get anywhere near the conference, you can earn I mean, you can earn up to like a thousand pounds a yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Which if you think about it, it's crazy to, to play football part time. Yeah. I mean once you get to conference though, a lot of teams do go full time. But um yeah, even if you if you work a full time job, let's say um, what does the average person decent job, you can earn thirty grand. You shouldn't be asking like people that do yeah, podcasts exactly, exactly, I was say. Mate, so we let's, don't know. Let's say you you do your average Joe and you do you're in the trades and you earn thirty grand and then you're picking up another ten, fifteen grand Easily, cash yeah. from from playing. It's unbelievable yeah. to to get that on top. Um but then to coach, obviously you've got to find a club that first of all you need a way in, which is is pretty hard. Um and just the managing side of non-league just doesn't appeal to me at all. Right. I have considered more... I've just finished my UEFA B, which is the next nice. like, coaching badge, yeah. Um, I've considered going into an academy to start coaching. Uh, Spurs would probably be the easiest for me. Wicked. But again, all those jobs now from like under eight upwards is full-time. Right. So it's it's tough. It's what, tough what, to, kind of, what kind of badges... What to a degree do you need in order to get uh UEFA B you need to work in an academy pretty much. Okay. So it goes it goes FA level one, FA level two, UEFA B, UEFA A, pro license, right. and, and so on. Um pro, all, all the Premier League coaches will have their pro license or be I don't know if Lampard's got his yet. So like someone like yeah, that yeah, who yeah. who's just finished, they'll they'll their clubs will help them out. Yeah. Um but yeah, you don't to to be in non league, I don't I don't actually know if you need I would assume UEFA B. But again, I don't know if you necessarily need it. It helps. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it it helps. But someone like Hashtag, I don't think if, uh, let's say if Dev's left. Yeah. I don't think Spencer would go around asking managers. (laughs) Do you you have you? Exactly. That's what I mean. So it's more on experience and reputation rather than, oh, have you got your UEFA B? (laughs) Can you show me the certificate? Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to happen. So um, in short, no. I wouldn't. I, it doesn't doesn't interest me going into managing. Yeah. I, I we, we had this discussion with uh, Simon last week as well, didn't we? Uh, about how players view coaches a little differently to how they view managers, because coaches are it's like it's a more personal, um, direct feel to a player rather than management. It's like you're on, you're almost on a different plane. Yeah, I, I think it depends. I think a lot of players. I think. Uh, hashtags a good example uh, this is the example i've got so it's Absolutely an easy one fine. to use so devs is the manager and joe keith is the coach yeah but they're they're they've I, i'm assuming they've been i always call them like i'm like oh it's a bit like you used to say with me and sam like i'll say if if uh devs has gone somewhere i'll be like oh was joe there as well yeah like yeah, it's yeah. one of them so they're very close and i very think sam. <laughs> he's outside. <laughs> he's <over> <laughs> outside yeah um i think he's cycling he's still is he? fuming that you didn't invite him I think. Oh, I wish, well, we'll get him on eventually. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That'd yeah. be a good one. But um, they're so close, and I think. Sorry, we should just to cut yeah, you off, you we should explain who Sam is. So, all right, Sam's my best mate. Yeah. Played for Rebel, um, and you had a joint. Yeah, and then we we had a YouTube channel together. Um, went to university together, so like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you obviously know him from playing for yeah. Rebel. Two, the the two best players that I've played with personally. Oh, different players. Thank different, you. They're very different. Yeah, Sam's more like a. Rat, Kante, yeah, yeah, sort of like yeah, yeah, getting yeah. amongst it, annoying yeah. midfielder, yeah. and then you just 
Take all the Elil glory. Of a striker, yeah. yeah, exactly. Poacher. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're so similar that I feel they kind of, they almost, I think I feel a lot of managers, like you say, kind of don't want that personal connection right. so that they can make more business-like decisions like dropping someone yeah. or changing. It's authority. Exactly. It? Yeah, yeah. Um, whereas I feel like at Hashtag, it is, they kind of both are quite similar in that sense okay. that they don't, it feels that to me anyway, they don't want to get too close where they can kind of make decisions. and But at the same time, they do feel like you have to have a relationship, like a friendly relationship yeah. with players, especially in non-league. Yeah, it can't, yeah. It can't be... Well, because pure... they have the decision to exactly. leave at any point, right? Exactly. It can't be pure business. Well, saying that, hashtag... Or they not? Ha- well, yes, they do. Hashtag made their first um, contract signing this season. Really? Yeah, young centre-back, Harry Hasem. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, How many contracts are in, like, non-league football? Not many. Not many. Not many. Right. Players won't sign them. Okay, because... Because, yeah, yeah, it just it doesn't... Do- unless... A club is offering crazy money then it makes sense yeah. but on the whole yeah not you don't get many i i don't think there'll be many others if any in our league that have contracts are there any op- like job opportunities i.e let's just say this that spurs came to you and said right we want you to be a full-time coach we've seen what you've done um that you'd sacrifice playing football for yes playing i'm at, I'm at the point where I, I stopped uh, my first season at Hashtag. I stopped playing because I just I, I didn't enjoy the, especially the play style, very long ball. Um, and just, it just wasn't working. Yeah. I, mentally, it was just drained. The travel was a lot. Everything just wasn't working. So I actually stepped away. I said to Devs, like, I just need to go away for the season. K- ended up coming back in preseason again and I felt way better, um, but needed that break. So yes, I would stop playing for coaching, but I wouldn't sacrifice my one-to-ones for a role like that okay most i mean it's partly it's, it's two twofold partly for the money um and a normal academy role you're probably 25 30 000, um full time yeah but when you say full time it's like you're in there at 8 a.m you'll leave at 8 p.m monday to saturday yeah like six days a week yeah, yeah, it's yeah. full on and it's um, unbelievably rewarding you'll get players that will go through into the first team and it, it must be incredible yeah, yeah. but I kind of get the best of both worlds. I work a couple of hours a day, earn pretty good money, um, can have a kind of a life outside of coaching. Where, whereas if you're in an academy, that's that's your that is your life. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it depends what you prefer. But you get free kit. If you... you do get free kit, yeah. which is worth a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's worth yeah, a lot every day. A lot. Um, it's interesting that you've uh, mentioned like players to go on and do bigger things are there any people that you have worked with or played with that other than like the likes of Harry, like the, the, other than the Spurs Academy maybe like clients that you've had that have gone on to do not really I've only been I've been so I run my own company doing one-to-ones it's yeah. just just me but um massive company um, <laughs> you can shout yeah. out if you want uh, it, well it's called Strive Football Academy Strive Football Academy yeah, yeah, yeah. um couldn't couldn't get you on the pod and no, not mention yeah, exactly. what you <laughs> No, but most most people just mess either find get go on my website or just find me on Instagram anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, so I've only been doing that off my own back for about four years now. So it's not been enough time for players, and most of the players I get are the average age is probably ten. Okay, so, so there's no you you never have the opportunity to work with like well, I mean uh, that your coaching company isn't limited to just younger players. No, not like at if all. If a pro came to you and said, I really need to yes, sort this out. Yes, and I think with that, they either go to someone they know, so like um, the I, I, um, superior striker, forgotten his actual name. Oh, the, the Nike one. Yes, who was that? Um, he was England. Is it J- uh, Jason? James? Something like that? Velocity. Uh, yes, Jamie. Jamie no, no, Velocity. Uh, no, is that I not think him? it's a different guy. Okay, so but yeah. I mean, he's this. It, this yes, is similar, it's a similar sort of kind vein. of thing yeah. where they're so well known and big on social media. He was actually England striker coach, right? This guy, and then he got into some. I think he like was maybe I don't I don't know speed, <laughs> speeding or something. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. he is he it Alan left. Russell. Yes, that's the guy. Um, and I think he's now at Aberdeen or something coaching there. So people, players that know, okay, this guy does one to one coaching. Yeah. He's doing it at the top level, i.e. England. He knows what he's doing. I'll just go to him. And they'll yeah, pay yeah. a shit ton amount of money for an hour's or two-hour session, and they'll tailor it around him. He'll probably go to them, whatever. Um, so, yes, I would do that. But um, who's it? I mean, <laughs> Riyad Mahrez isn't going to give me a yeah, call yeah, and yeah, say, yeah. hey, yeah. I've just seen you on... Uh, I mean, my, but, after, but, after for, this. But, for example, like Max Aaron's. Yes. Now, uh, Premier League... Well, 
Premier League footballer for this season, yeah. not for next yeah. season. Well, we don't know. At Norwich. Right, yeah, yeah, at Norwich, uh, right back at Norwich. Um, so trained under Saul. Yeah, exactly. And Saul so, was the person that got you into Rebel FC. Exactly. Saul was a good example. So Saul, pretty much his one to one. He started doing one to ones before it was really a thing. Yeah. It kind of. I feel like it transferred from American sport. Oh, is it very much a new like concept? On the whole, yeah, I think football. so. And now it's mass. Like you go anywhere and you'll see one to one coaches. Yeah. But in America, they've been doing it for years. In sports like American football, yeah. they'll have a specific quarterback coach or whatever, defensive line, whatever you're going to have. Well, they, they kind of do have it here, but it's like S&C coaching. It's it's not, but even that is relatively yeah, new. So that's what I'm saying. It's, it's very much come over. And now it's like, you'll get a one, players will go for a one-to-one -one coach or someone like England will have a strikers coach and all the massive teams will now. Yeah, but yeah. it's relatively new. So yeah, Saul is, a, is another good example. I was going to, I was going to use him that. Sorry. No, no, it's good. You took it, you took it away. <laughs> but players like Max Ahrens or Max might even say, if someone, Max might post on his story and then one of the other players at Norwich do yeah, it yeah. and then suddenly all these players that follow Max know okay if I need a one-to-one -one coach I can go to this yeah. guy so, so it's very much it's like anything once you've got one it's it's a lot easier and um, I compare it to like football agents you get a lot of football agents who start off with one player who then makes it and suddenly they get all yeah, these yeah. young ones come through who then obviously your chances of getting ladies and gentlemen this podcast is sponsored by our friends over at LinkedIn with spring in the air it's time for renewal and growth that means both personally and professionally as your small business grows LinkedIn jobs is here to make it easier for you to find the people that you want to talk to faster and for free so you can create a free job post in minutes on LinkedIn where you can have people apply for jobs if you need a specific role filling. Everything is customizable that allows you to find the perfect person for that role. So create a free job post on LinkedIn to tap into the world's largest professional network with over 30 million people in the UK. Then add your job to the purple hiring frame to your LinkedIn profile to spread the word that you're hiring so your network can help you find the right people to hire. Simple tools like screening questions make it easy to focus on the candidates with just the right skills and experience so you can quickly prioritize who you'd like to interview and hire. It's why small businesses rate LinkedIn jobs as number one in delivering quality hires versus leading competitors. So if you wanna get involved, click the link in the description or go to linkedin.com slash pitch to post a job for free. That is linkedin.com slash pitch to post a job for free back on with a podcast. So obviously you, you've got to be quite excited for the prospect because social media enables such a like wide range of clients. Yeah, so. and that's it's partly like I've always enjoyed like posting content, especially I'm pretty, I like to try and be creative um so like especially on tick I, I still don't understand tiktok at all in regards to like <laughs> yeah, what I does what no yeah, i don't think anyone does about what does well and what doesn't does jamie do does well. don't you mate sort of. tiktok legend yeah okay, okay good if you <laughs> give me some tips then basically just have theo baker say yeah it's yeah. true well there you go yeah. yeah or spread a fact yeah that's an opinion um so i've always enjoyed kind of making content and i just put it out there and um for, for someone who's not a youtuber not a celebrity like i've got an okay following yeah um so i'll get the odd client from from that and and through that but the the biggest way is just through like word of mouth <laughs> over time and um and people recommending you have you found that playing for hashtags helped or not um helped my social media following well yeah which indirectly yeah, helps you yes very i mean the conversion rate is, okay. is probably <laughs> one off uh, yeah like okay. tiny tiny but um but who knows it might be because of that i've got then got big like indirectly it yeah. may have helped more than i know um but i was i the only reason i joined hashtag was because i i didn't have a contact at any other club when rebel ended um, Spencer followed me after the, the Wembley Cup and I was basically just looking for a club and I was like, I'll just message. Yeah. I, hashtag had just gone non-league, I think the season before. Um, so I messaged him and, and went that route. If I had had a contact at a club closer to me, maybe I would have contacted them as well. So yeah, yeah. it wasn't, because I've, I've had that question a little bit, is like, oh, did you go to hashtag because you wanted to still play on YouTube yeah. and, it, and it wasn't that It's like all. the current Newcastle debate, yeah. right? Are people going to Newcastle because of the prospect of what the club yeah. can be in like the financial mm. situation or are they going because they love playing for Newcastle? You well, know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think it's the latter. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> unless, unless it's, it's someone, Dan Byrne. Exactly. Yeah. yeah I was going <laughs> to say, unless it's someone who, who's like deep rooted in Newcastle, yeah, yeah. anyone else like Kieran Trippier has not gone there for, 
to be a Geordie, has he? Yeah, it's <laughs> he, true. He's gone either for the money yeah. or for what they can achieve or a combination of both. I'm scared of what they can, by the way, because they are looking pretty frightful. Yeah, but... Do you not? Th- do you not think? Are you? Do you not think in like two or three seasons' time you'll see the? Yeah, it could be similar to City, like when they signed all those players like Robinho, and and they didn't quite do yeah well, and then it took a little while, and then so yeah, it, yeah, they could. I'm quite short sighted with things like that. Um, I hope not. Do you not? Well, I suppose that boils down to whether or not you rate Eddie Howe as a manager of bigger players of big names. Is Eddie Howe going to stay though? Like, do you think? Do I, don't, you, I don't know. Do I'm, you, I'm, I, he's, he's putting a good enough. He has. Um, slip for I think. I think that's a good question, though. If they, I mean, not Haaland, It looks like he's going City, but are they going to sign a Neymar? And is ne- and is Eddie Howe going to be telling Neymar? Well, probably not Mbappe because Mbappe's had a little bit of a U turn. Yeah, with Madrid. I'm so bad with football news. So what's happening? So a little bit of a breakdown is um, killing Mbappe was originally. Well, a pre-contract was originally agreed with him to go to Madrid for like a million euros a week or whatever it was. Um, Yeah, ended up being ended up being like ninety-five euros a a minute or something, which is ridiculous. Um, That got cancelled, and they were like, "Oh, you are the future of PSG. We need to keep you here, so we'll just whack up whatever you want." Yeah, and now he's had a bit of a wobble and has gone home to consult his family on whether or not he should be just going to Real Madrid. Do you think long for a career that he wants longevity and success in, he should be going Madrid? Um, not necessarily Madrid, but should be leaving PSG. Yes, you reckon? I just I think they are a bit like uh, playing for Bayern. Right. It's just there's not enough competition in that league. Bayern are a little bit different because they've been, well not this season so much, but been so successful in Europe. But I just think Bayern, are, Bayern are your German team. No, Dortmund. Dortmund are. Yeah, 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 Dortmund more. Well, my we mum. Have that yeah, my mum. My mum is just. So I'm half German, half yeah. English. Um, my mum grew up in Bremen, so Werder Bremen is yeah. is the team. They're not the best. <laughs> um, so Dortmund. Yeah, I loved grow, uh, watching them growing up. Goethe was like my favourite player. Really? of that like generation. Yeah. Um, but I just think it's not healthy if you're a competitive player to play for either Bayern or PSG. It's just. Do you know. think it's possible to win a Ballon d'Or at PSG, excluding Messi, of course, because that was obviously influenced by the Copa America? Yeah. Do you reckon? Yeah. So I think, if they I go th- on to win the Champions League, then the person potentially wins a Ballon yeah. d'Or at that I think, I think Mbappe. Yeah. I th- it's him and Haaland, isn't it? Who are you having? Do, what, do you know, you're, you're, for, for this year's conversation, it's obviously like Salah or Benzema, but I'm talk- you, we're speaking about the I'm future. saying you've got a team. You're, you're now the um, head of recruitment at Arsenal Ooh. and Sheikh... <laughs> whoever is coming and they're saying you can sign one player we'll give Shake you the money Baker. yeah there that. you go he's out in Qatar <laughs> yeah, yeah Talk, exactly he's with, we never know how he's gonna, how he's gonna return he's so. with Mbappe right now so <laughs> yeah, he's gonna put no, but who are you who are you then signing who would I like to um <laughs> Kylian Mbappe is a good place to start isn't it really but over Haaland I think Haaland would suit the Premier League a little bit better Maybe. Okay, so you are at Arsenal. Yeah. So you. Oh well, no, yeah. I mean, so I'd, I'd, go, I'd go earning Haaland, but I'd, I'd, yeah. In, in reality, who would I? Who would I genuinely want in world football? Do you reckon it's between those two for the next Ballon d'Or? Then who else? Well, like Foden. He's not an Mbappe or a Haaland, is he? Well, I think I think Haaland. Luis Diaz at <laughs> Liverpool. No, nah, if he goes, I, no, no. Nah, nah. I think Ha. Um, I was I was always probably up until like the midpoint of this season I was always Haaland. I thought and I think he is a, th- a bit like Kane but more physical, quicker. If he can stay injury free, he's, yeah, he's going to be incredible. Thing. But I don't think we've seen a freak like Mbappe before. I think he could be <laughs> nice. Messi Esque. Really? Yeah. In regard, not necessarily. That's big from you. Yeah, You're a Messi. Yeah, and not necessarily in regards to what he can do. Like Messi can do things that no one else can do. That's why I think he's the best of all time. He can do things that defy how people play football, like the way he goes past yeah, people. Yeah. But Mbappe does it in a different way. Like his ability to finish, his ability to go past someone, and his just overall speed. Uh, with those three things who else has been like that mm. i don't think there is anyone I, I know a lot of people have been well i say a lot of people i've seen a few comments of the fact that mbappe kind of prefers to be on the left yeah so if he goes to madrid 
he's competing with another potential Ballon d'Or winner in Vinicius Jr. Mm. So what happens there? They just get rid of Vinicius Jr. And just... Well, Mbappe is better than Vinicius. So you, you just <laughs> well, no, not necessarily. I think loaded. Mbappe can play more. He can play as a he has played as a nine before, and then just get rid of Karim Benzema. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Or you or Mbappe says I can play off the right. Yeah. But that, I mean we've we've seen that with players like Rashford. Mm-hmm. Doesn't, doesn't doesn't work. work. No, doesn't no, no, translate no. well. Um yeah, it's a tough one. Yeah. It's a tough one. I haven't really thought about that. I haven't thought that far ahead. No, I just don't. I mean you're quite similar in terms of yeah, players, I, so I thought. Yeah, what well, being Mbappe. Yeah. <laughs> I would not say that at all. I'm more That's of modest. a more of a um an Azard. Okay. Like not as raw pace, yeah. Like Mbappe is just a freak. ridiculous, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's. I mean, it's a tough one. Who and who knows? They might have a deal. Vinicius might go the other way. Who knows? I don't know. But it's in, it's it's a tough one for people to sort of like decide upon because it might end up just being some some random guy that comes through and <laughs> what to to Ballon d'Or? Yeah, yeah, of course. But that's always the like Mbappe was a random guy. Yeah, before he was Mbappe. Well, I mean, he, I'm, a, I'm a football manager. He's always the go-to was he? guy, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, okay. At, at 16, it was guy. always like this guy's going to hit 95. Well, yeah, but wasn't he, he was playing for Monaco? Yeah. At what age? Yeah, yeah. Did he? Did, am I? Am I right? It, was it him who scored against Spurs at, uh, at White Hart Lane? It might have been. I don't know if it was him or not. I can't what, remember. Uh, what back in the day when he was at Monaco? Research. I can't. I can't remember. It was. Either, you know what? It might have been um, Mendy. Okay. I can't remember. Someone cut in off the left and just absolutely zinged it top right. It's probably Mbappe. I yeah, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, I believe it is Mbappe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I just, I just, even, and then I, he was so raw that I just didn't. Just announced yeah, himself. Whereas I feel like this, stage. this year especially, just his ability to finish most of all. Yeah. Because I feel like that's always, you're always going to get these quick freaks who are just like so quick but yeah. can't either can't control the ball or can't yeah score so that's him maximum right yeah he's he's uh, he's literally yeah he's unplayable dribbling. yeah when it comes to like mm-hmm. 1v1 dribbling mm. but his end products just no i was actually impressed he had that one chance yesterday where yeah. he cut in and then went near post yeah. and ramsdale saved it but he's probably the best dribbling in the premier league i'd argue with him or bernardo silva one of them in Ooh, terms of close, very different though they are very different but what it depends how you are you measuring it on going past someone or just close control? Both, I suppose. The ability to just carry a ball because Bernardo is more like he'll keep shifting, keep shifting, and then find a pass or find a shot. Yeah. Whereas Sim Maximan will just like he can sprint and go past people. He's kind of got that street footballer in him yeah. as well, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Street panel. Street panel. <laughs> Um, He's a guitar with Baker. Yeah, yeah. They're both. You there. can get the call up. No, I'm not not good enough, unfortunately. No. no. You might then. Well, well, you're need, here now. No, I only need 200,000 more uh, <laughs> followers and I'll be there. Um, just to break away a little bit, yeah. going, because you've obviously had quite an esteemed football career. Well, you have. Yeah. For, yeah, for, yes, for, yeah. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. For like a, if you spoke to someone and said, yes. oh, you play non league football, yeah. you've played at Wembley, yeah, yeah, yeah. some of the insane opportunities you've had, yeah, you've, it's true. You, you've been on BBC Sport. Yeah. Yeah, I was. I was like, when have I been? <laughs> yeah, I you have. Yeah, yeah. when you the did, hashtag game. Yeah. Yep. What's your favourite memory as a footballer? Because obviously the one that I've just mentioned, the Panenka, yeah, FA Cup result. Yeah, you score the goal to make it level. Yeah, and then you take them through. Yeah, I think. Yeah, definitely. Just, um, I guess it. Go, you said memory, but I guess I, I would split it into like moment, right? Which is either the Wembley Cup goal or the Penenka, that goal. Yeah. Um, but then in regards to achievement, I think it will always be signing a pro contract. Yeah. I mean, Just because of yeah. the the amount of kids that try to, and especially at like such an esteemed academy. Did um, you did you think you were going to make it at that point? No. Okay. Um n- not n- not necessarily no, but I didn't I didn't think, oh yeah, I'm I've I'm there now. It was weird. When I, the the day I got told I was signing my pro I wasn't that happy in a right. sense. It was it was very weird. It was like a bit of a a bit of a come down because imagine that for two years when you're a scholar, all you're thinking about is okay, I need to get to that point where I sign my pro, and then you get told you've got it. And How it's old was this? Sixteen. Sixteen to eighteen. Yeah. So I got told when I was eighteen that I'd get my pro, and then suddenly it's like okay, I've got it, but it's a year, 
and then I need another one. And, and it, I think I kind of realized at that point, it's like, you're always, you're never achieve unless you're in the, make it to the Premier League yeah, or whatever. Yeah. You're always kind of striving for that next thing. It's that like imposter syndrome, right? You yeah, know? in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I think it, that was not, not a tough moment. It was obviously I was really happy, but I didn't feel happy at the time. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. It's a little bit deep, this question, but what kind of words do you have for people that obviously experience the same situation that you did? Not necessarily through injury, yeah. although that does happen a lot, but yeah. just getting cut and then never making it. I think for me, the biggest thing, um, that season, while I was uh, pro, didn't really enjoy my football. Probably partly because I knew Tim Sherwood didn't like me. <laughs> he might be listening. Um <laughs> A, a lot of things, the injuries and, and whatnot. And then as soon as I, I left there, I played non-league for a year, played for Bishop Stortford in a conference north at the time, not enjoying my pro year to then not enjoying non-league. I then went to um, university and we had, that's where I met Sam, who was yeah, at yeah. Arsenal. We had Southampton, right? Yeah, in Solon, yeah. Uh, at Solon in Southampton. We had, I think probably over the course of my four years there, probably had... 10 ish ex academy players so we like we played unbelievable football we had a really nice grass pitch good facilities that's probably the most other than like rebel it's probably the most i've ever enjoyed football yeah so i would always say and it was probably then that i realized not just in life but in playing especially if you don't enjoy it yeah it's everything is horrible. Like it, you can be, and that's why people always say, oh, these players moaning that they're earning 300 grand a week and they're, they're not happy. It's, yeah, like it's not a nice place to be if yeah, you're yeah. lonely, if you're, you, you've got everything you need. You're as people rich don't as talk me. about like the mental health. Oh no, and it, it doesn't happen. No, and it's good that it's becoming more of an, yeah. more awareness. Well, definitely. football, obviously with the breaking news of uh, Jake Daniels yesterday, yeah, well, which I'd, is yeah, incredible, yeah, yeah. by yeah. the way proud of you congrats mate do you want to um yeah so he's um uh other than the a-league footballer um jake daniels came out as homosexual which like unbelievably brave yeah. in a in a sort of i say industry it's not really it works well, kind of an industry but a sport that has such sort of medieval yeah views mm -hmm. incredible yeah and i think i think it links in links quite nicely into I was listening to the big G episode you did and him talking about like him getting like racial abuse yeah. is still is still such a you go to especially in non league yeah, if you're, yeah there's no filter I, in that oh I can well. imagine if you if you were that's why I don't think anyone would come out as gay in non league yeah. or or if they have it's you don't really hear about it I think the abuse they would get because fans think it's fans uh, especially at non-league and as in even at the higher levels you see racist abuse they just think it's okay to say what you want yeah. because because they're on the other team it doesn't matter what you say they're not footballers they're products right exactly just there yeah them. you can say what you want to them and if you if you're if i'm an arsenal fan and i say something bad to a player on the opposite team and then he makes a mistake or gets angry i've, I've helped my team is yeah. i think how people see it yeah yeah so yeah it's it's, football still has a long way to go in big time yeah, yeah in regards to and this is this is what helps it yeah. this is the kind of progress that it needs mm. what was the guy's name again uh, Joshua Cav uh, Cavallo yes that's sorry if I've butchered the surname he had, he, had, mm -hmm. uh, he had like a hero card that came yes, out on yeah, yeah. foot as well but, mm -hmm. I was um, still playing at that point yeah <laughs> when, it was, <laughs> right when it was a decent <laughs> yeah. game um, but yeah it's crazy because obviously there are so many people that experience what you've done yeah but for, for the entire time that I've known you, you've always been like the most positive yeah. and, and never bitter about what's happened. Yeah. Whereas you can always, you always get the people that are 45 years old down the pub yeah. that are like, mate, I'd have made it for bloody yeah. West Ham exactly. under 18s. Yeah. But. And I think that, but that's also, I, as soon as I got released. Nothing on West Ham. Right? I was just like, <laughs> no, an example. example. Yeah. Sorry. A lot of those West Ham fans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, as soon as I got released, I, I never wanted to be that guy yeah. because the first thing I told people when I got, when, whenever, or tell people now, when I get released or got released, the first thing they say is, oh, like, oh, it's because of the injury. And I, that's why I always kind of add that caveat of, I think I would have got released anyway, because I don't want to be that person that is, oh, he, he only got A released. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, if I, if I didn't get that injury, I would be, I'd be playing alongside Harry Kane now. Like, it just, it you, doesn't... Might, you know what's, you know what's funny is actually in reality, you might be. Yes. From but the this... quality of footballer that you are. Yeah, but I mean, yes, but you're comparing me to 
Cal, Cal, no respect to Cal. To, you res- no, no, it's different. No, but you are, I've though. seen you do shit that f- not even pros do, mate. I think it's so different. It's so different. I think the biggest difference, and this is, I, I, t- I say this. Getting angry here because he's, he's so good at <laughs> no, football. No, no, no. I think the, the, the comparison that I always give, especially to full time pros, um, and I say this to all the kids that I'm coaching, is consistency. Yeah. Like, I c- yeah, okay, you give me a ball, I can, I can put it in the top corner if you ask me to, maybe. Right, but if you give that ball to Harry Kane, I might do it that once, but he's doing it over if we had a hundred shots each, he's I'm up here doing it. But do you not th- do you not think that's from the, yes, the time again, yeah, over yeah, coaching? Yeah, it? that does yes. But I, I just you can't you can't compare yeah. people that, that say, Oh, this player should be put like it's, it's buts and maybe, right? Yeah, and it's a uh, it's a bit of a disservice to it, it's a great compliment. I appreciate the compliment, thank you. But <laughs> it's a disservice to those players that are I think a lot of people don't realize how good yeah. these players. There's a reason they get paid what they do. But I, um, I've seen professional football or ex-professional footballers, and I've done video shoots with them, and they they they're like in contention for Ballon d'Or mm. sort of thing amongst the year that they were good. Yeah, obviously they're retired now. Do you want to give an that. example? No, I don't. I, I, won't, <laughs> I won't drop any names. But yeah. I've seen in person how many times it takes somebody to do something. Mm-hmm. But I've also seen the quality of like yourself. Chris and Theo to a degree in that specific region of the football universe, which is like yeah. taking free kicks over and over again at certain target. Yeah. And they outperform professionals mm-hmm. constantly. Yeah. So why, what, like, obviously different in a game okay, situation. But that's, but like, I guess, I guess Chris and Theo are a good example. They probably have had more free kick practice. Exactly. Than any other, maybe David Beckham. Yeah. Right. I want to bring him up actually. Oh, it's a good, a good segue. Yeah. Good segue. You um, met him. How was yeah, that? Yeah. So, um, I think it, it was. It must have been my pro year. Yeah, he came. He was he. I can't remember the situation. I can't remember if he was still playing in America. If he had just stopped, I can't. I can't remember. He came somewhere over to, between Paris and America. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who knows? He um he came over to the Spurs training ground um and basically just where was that at the point? Uh, you were it training? was so I was unlucky. Uh, the training ground used to be in Loughton. Right. Tiny little place. Literally had about. Missed it by a four, couple years. Four, one year, yeah. <laughs> oh, four really? pitches, yeah. And then the year <laughs> after they moved, the year I got released in 2012, at the end of that season, so halfway through 2012, they went to the new training ground. Oh. I, I mean, I have been lucky where I went back and did um, did my dissertation while I was at uni. I went back to the old training ground and like kind of helped out with some coaching and stuff. So um, I've been back there and it's just, it's, ridic- it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Like it's another world. Have you been? No, no. Oh, it's, no. It's, it's, it's stupid how good it is. Anyway, this old training ground, tiny little building. Um, yeah, David Beckham came down and uh, and kind of was like watching the session and then did like a bit of like crossing practice with 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 us. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. So he was down with the reserves. How good is um, he? Yeah, just like flawless. Te- it's like... It's, it's, when you watch it, were you just like taking it? Because I, I I watch a lot of golf mm-hmm. and I play a lot. Well, yes. I used to play a lot of golf. Yeah. But every time I'd watch someone that I admire, it's like, mm-hmm. okay. Have you ever into... played with a pro? No. Okay, so that's the only... I have, I've... but not like a tour pro. It's, oh, it's okay. very different. Yes. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be like playing Tiger football Woods. with a non-league okay, player. Right. I was going to... Or playing football with a person that's you know gone to a world cup it's not it's not a compar- like there's I think so much fun the only it. comparison i would use then is if you had if you were playing golf with tiger woods would you be taking notes or would you just be like yeah this it's true is surreal. yeah you're right so yeah, like yeah. david beckham is going to cross and he's bringing his arm back yeah, around yeah. and i'm like what is going on like, but you but but you have people like james madison mm-hmm. who have sat and watched hours and hours and hours of beckham's footage yeah to try and emulate that kind of technique and yeah. he said it on interviews and yeah. stuff so i mean it does happen yeah just that's in diff- person that, exactly like, i was yeah. gonna say in person is very different in video yeah, yeah yeah like even now i don't, like through my coach I'll, I'll when i watch football i find I sometimes find myself like analyzing it yeah so like i'll watch someone i like watching harry kane um just because of his his technique but yeah it's just surreal watching david beckham cross a ball in front of you if we spoke to harry would you remember you yeah yeah i've, I've um like kept in contact somewhat and like nice. when i went back to do my dissertation like he was always like we'd meet and he'd act like nothing's different yeah, yeah. and i think i always um like i've done a couple n- nothing nothing like you or like theo but i've done a couple shoots over the last couple of years especially through rebel and stuff and i always found that i get on quite well with professionals because, just because you're good well not only that but, but i just act no i don't yeah, treat yeah, them yeah. any different yeah. i don't bum something it, yeah, like but it, it happens would. it happens on shoots with me 
but it's it's different when it happens on shoots with people that are also very good at football. Like yeah. Theo's mentioned this that because they can see him do yes. like around the world, yeah. it's like, oh shit, this guy's not. He's a, actually okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This isn't just a. It, it almost disarms them a little absolutely. bit. It's like, it's suddenly, it's yeah. not a video shoot. It's a football shoot. And then there's a little bit of competition. There exactly. Yeah. Like, oh, well, if this guy's actually good. I need exactly. to prove that I'm better. Than um. So yeah. So I think it definitely yeah it makes a difference. What um what's been your favorite shoot or like favorite experience? Because obviously there's a very there's a very uh, um large sliding doors moment where you no longer go into pro football, mm-hmm. but you also entered into this sort of like social media world. Yeah, what's what's been the best moment from that side? I suppose. Well, I've, I've not had I've not had any any crazy like if I could I mean if I could pick one I'd like go and do free kicks with Messi or something like that. <laughs> but but um, I guess a, a cool one was at. For, most of them were through Rebel. Um, Xhaka came down yes. and did free kicks. Yeah, he did. Um, and I was lucky where we, we actually took... He was kind of just watching at first. Um, and then we were just taking some. It was like me, Dylan, and I think Sava, maybe one other. Um, and I was lucky where I was just... I was like hitting them really well. I scored like two or three yeah, yeah. in out of five or something, which is crazy from free kicks. From a decent... Yeah, 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 yeah. in goal is, with a wall. Um, so that was really cool. And then he took a couple free kicks. And again, just like his technique he was ridiculous yeah like i never i never really appreciated mm-hmm. just how good jack yeah. was at free kicks until you like watch yeah. it in person it's like holy it's different and, that, and that's what I, the ball exactly so not, sweet yeah and not just hard but it's just it's that consistency yeah. like he won't he won't scuff a ball yeah 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 um i don't really rate jack though as a footballer well we, we spoke about segue. him a little bit earlier didn't we yeah. like let's yeah he's all stay right. off him yeah <laughs> um he's tried yeah you know, i mean just, yeah Puts his art on his sleeve, yeah. sort of thing. But um, yeah, it's 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 just that that difference, that consistency is is. The who's main the biggest difference. name you've co- other than Bex? Who's the biggest name you've like you've come into contact with through your journey, or even even at like a even at like a younger level? You know, because yeah, obviously yeah. you've played for Spurs, mm-hmm. you must have you you must have been at the point where other academy players that are now huge at their club were against you. Mm, yes, um, the the biggest I've played against is Lukaku. Both biggest and <laughs> yeah, biggest. Yeah, yeah. What was um, it? Just the unit. I can't remember where he was. We played um, a tournament. It might have been in Belt. He might have been at. Was he ever? Anderlecht. Was he Anderlecht? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It was against Anderlecht because I think it was an Anderlecht tournament. Okay. And he was he was a man playing. It, we were uh, under either under sixteens or under eighteens, and he was just a man, just ridiculous, really? like he is now. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. bullying people for fun. And like yeah. I was a skinny. I mean, I'm not big now. But I was skinny and just players like that just annoying. Just, not just annoying, but it's just like it's like unfair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um yeah. but then in regards to being at Spurs, I was I was lucky. I was there when like Gareth Bale, Luca Modric, that era. So so those like Gareth Bale. I always say Gareth Bale in training was I never saw him try in training. Really? But um but Aaron Lennon was a good example of just his ability to change pace. And so change you were direction. in tra- you were in training with the first team. I would sometimes train, especially on a Friday. They would do. Um, it was under Harry Redknapp. They would always do like patterns of play. Or I just was well, in a fucking reserve. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, that's what he, he's talking about me. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> no, no, no. He's not. I wish he was. I think, yeah, that's, I think that's a West Ham clip. Oh, is it? I think so. I don't oh, think he's a at the time. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah, like we would go up and we would just be the opposing team. So it'd be like, okay, we're playing. Arsenal tomorrow, can you set up in a 4 3 3 or whatever? And we yeah. would just go and be basically mannequins to run around while they yeah, do yeah. things. So it's just like. Yeah, but Gareth Bell never, I never really saw him try, but someone like Luka Modric just. He's a bit like, I always, um, he was the Shakiri of that time in regards to his calves. Really? I would just look at them like. Yeah, Grealish has got some. He's got some good ones. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are, there's, I've seen a few good calves in the Premier mm-hmm. League at the moment. There's, yeah. there's some, some good calves ones. about it. You've got good quads. A good, good quads, yeah. not so much on the cards. No, it's no. true. Mm. Um, I don't know how I ask this question, considering we've just been speaking about cards. Mm. But um, one of the one of the things in the uh, what well, topics of conversation at the moment are is Liverpool, if they win the quadruple, the best team that that has ever lived. No. You want me to answer? Oh, yeah, why not? Yeah. Um, well, you're, you're, obviously, you prefer a different style of football, but yes. well, I, I, in I terms res- of achievement, are yes. they the, well, certainly they're the best English team. Okay, well, what, what, are you, what is your question? Is your question, are they the best team or is their achievement the best achievement? Because mm, that's two different that, answers, they right? Because the questions. best team is that Barcelona team. Right. 
right? With Messi, Xavi, yeah, yeah, Iniesta. Yeah. Like, that is the best team ever. A best achievement, then, do you reckon? To do it in the Prem? Yes. Really? Unless you can... I can't think of one off the top of my head that is better. Mm. Um, I think, yeah, I think now to... Especially where... I think it's more the intensity in the schedule is just crazy. Yeah, they, well, they've played the maximum amount of games exactly. possible for a club in a exactly. season. So to be able to then chop and change your squad and not be a city where you've got enough money to have a Jack Grealish on the bench. Yeah, where who? I mean, who's? Um, they've been lucky where they not lucky, but they got they had Luis Diaz come in. Yeah, yeah. Um, but other than that, who have they really got coming in that's like A grade? Mm. not many on their bench would you want to change with anyone else on their well, team well Luis Diaz is that A grade that he's yes. now just well, cemented a spot yeah which I guess their front three is what Luis Diaz Salah and Mane, Mane. It's front as three. a nine yeah exactly is... um, but you take out any of them and you're not really happy with who you've got up top anymore yeah. in regards to a three whereas City you can okay yeah you you might prefer Grealish over Sterling or someone like that yeah pardon me <laughs> so um, so yeah I, I think to keep it up for a full season without having that squad depth is ridiculously impressive. Do you think they'll do it? I mean... Because there's, there's the whole, you know, Liverpool romanticising about Gerrard and Coutinho being the ones to stop. Well, they, oh City. no. Do I think they're going to win the quadruple? Yeah. No. You think City No, no, yeah. City will win the league. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was shocked that they drew the other day. To I be was honest, That well. West Ham result. Yeah. Um, but I also thought City were going to win the Champions League. I thought they were gonna. I, I thought yeah, they were gonna too. batter Madrid. Yeah. When they went, uh, they went two 0 up in the first leg, didn't yeah. they? Before the game, um, I think I was on the phone to my mum and I was like, "She, she's a Liverpool fan. She, yeah. she thinks she is anyway. Really? Yeah, yeah. She just, she, she, she's a bit like Werder Bremen to Liverpool. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> she just enjoy. Well, Klopp's German. So yeah, it's true. There's yeah, it is. But she just likes watching teams that play. Like she really enjoys watching Leeds. Yeah. Um. So teams like that, but the. <sighs> When I thought City would absolutely batter Madrid. Well, when KDB scored in like yeah. a couple of minutes. 2-0 so like, oh, up, I was like, oh yeah, here we go. Another 5 yeah, minutes exactly, at home. Exactly. Yeah. And then, I don't know. I, I can't... Fair play if Madrid beat Liverpool, but I can't see Liverpool losing that. But what I also... If, what if Salah and Virgil are out for that game? I don't know. Don't it's, it's, it's different. It yeah. is, that is obviously... That changes. I, th I think Virgil may be... It's a completely different argument. I don't know yeah. if you want to get into it or not. But I think... VVD is the best centre-back ever. Ever? Yeah. Uh, do you know what? Oh, wow. That's that's the kind of outlandish statements Theo. we love on this yeah, show. Yeah, that's a Theo but statement. But I am half-heartedly agreeing with you because when we did the Premier League All-Time eleven, mm -hmm. I said, I don't know if this is a direct quote, but I said, when Virgil van, uh, van Dijk um, retires, re retires thank you, appreciate that, he's a good co-host, <laughs> retires from the Premier League, he will be recognised as the best Premier centre-back of all time. Best Prem... Okay, who... Well, Ramos, I mean, most decorated. You're not going to yes, get... Yes, yeah. You're never going to get... I right just right. think, like, even right now, is he even in his prime now? Do we say... Uh, I don't know. May, well, he might get better, Do but... you know what's mad? This guy's come back from yes, an ACL injury, exactly. and yeah. he's the world's best yeah. centre-back. I just think, if you... It's funny. What what game was it the other day? Was it? I think it was City, where Sterling almost looked like he was through on goal, and Virgil was, like, running alongside him, and yeah. I was just like, he's going to get eaten. You, I don't... There's not... <laughs> the only player that I would have loved to see go... And it didn't really happen in the two Barcelona games, is I would have loved to see Messi go at him, yeah. like, 1v1. Yeah. But, his, but his, do you reckon... I know I, it's, I can't even believe I'm actually saying this, but do you reckon there's a little bit of fear in you, even in, even in Messi to go up against? Yeah. Oh yeah. Van now it, yeah. Uh, he's unbelievably quick. He's as because strong you, as you we, want. We saw it in the inter game. Yeah. Lautaro Martinez, who yeah. outright mm -hmm. is faster than Virgil Van Dijk. I have no to you know sense about believing that or not. Yeah. And he's just he, he's knocked it past him, and mm -hmm. then just went, "Oh, I'll just yeah. have the ball, man. I'm yeah. not doing this." It's mad. Uh, I think it just is. I don't know. I've never seen a centre back that. It's an air, isn't yes, it? It's like it that's, an aura. What I, that's the word I was looking, just like that composure and the players, like you say, players look at him and like, oh, no, don't, don't Not fancy today. this. No, yeah. where's the, where where can I pass? Yeah. So I think best centre back ever. Really? Yeah. Um, but in regards to the quadruple, no, I think City will win the league. Um, so the City have Villa. City have Villa at home, and Liverpool have Liverpool have Wolves. Actually, well. They've got to play Southampton tonight first with a B team. Yes. Basically. Yeah, yeah. Because they're resting they're a lot of exactly. players. So 
Yeah, I, can't, I, I think City win the league um, and I think Liverpool win the Champions League. And Spurs top four. Yeah, I, I can't see Spurs have Norwich. Yeah, and Arsenal. Norwich have to win. Yeah, in order for them to not and because yeah, the goal difference is mad, isn't yeah. it? It's like twenty something. Yeah, uh, Spurs top four. Yeah, bottom three. Well, actually, sorry, bottom, uh, <sighs> the the teams to get relegated other than Norwich and Watford. I want Leeds to stay up. Right, I don't care if Burnley go down, but Do you think? I think Leeds. Are, they just. I um I really like the Gary Neville podcast. Um, you watch it or listen to it? Was it overlap or something? Uh, well, he just after the game, like he'll just get asked questions okay. about like the 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 roundup of the weekend, and he's been saying for a couple of weeks like Leeds just look like a team. Oh, I said, I said team. it. I said it four yeah. months ago. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. said I think even when at, at the point that they sat Bielsa, I was like, that's yeah. they're going down. I don't. That, you think that was a bad decision? Yeah. I do, do you? Yeah, I do. You would have stuck with him. Yeah. They had the new manager bounce, which yeah. obviously everyone goes, oh, that's... Yeah, yeah, they'll be all right. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. fine now. But then... The tough, they had that tough running, didn't they? I think, uh, yeah, I think, Le in short, I think Leeds... I th if I had to put money on it and someone was like, here, you have to put money, I'd put on money on Leeds to go down. Yeah. Burnley have two games. Yeah. yeah. Who's, who's Leeds' final game? Uh, we'll check Brentford, isn't it? It's Brentford. Yes, it is. At, yeah. at Brentford as well, I'm pretty and sure. And they look good. Yeah, they do look good. Ericsson, signing of the summer yeah. season. Yeah. Oh, January. Luis Diaz. Oh, yeah. But that's, that's, Luis Diaz is my pick, but I know a lot of people are now saying that Ericsson's transformed a club that potentially were going down. Yes, to. but would Liverpool have done as well if they had? I, I agree with yeah. that. Yeah. I, think, I think Luis Diaz is a better signing, but the Ericsson one was a stroke of genius. Yeah. And people say it was a risky one. I don't, I don't agree with that. What was the risk in it? No, you're signing a world class player. Yeah, it's well, just, no, no, obviously the health even risk, if he, but... yeah, but okay, if he doesn't, then yeah, oh well, the team's <laughs> yeah, exactly where exactly. it was. Yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, I do agree. Great signing, great signing. Yeah, um, I think that's quiz time. It you is know, quiz time. Yeah. That was, oh no, that was very enjoyable. Yeah, time not, for the quiz. Not a quiz. Uh, what, um, a football quiz. It is a it football is. quiz. Yeah. So my, I don't know my... how this works because he, he's co-host and. Guest, we can do it together if you want. Yeah, or... we'll just answer together then. My football usually... knowledge is horrendous. Really? Yeah. Well, your knowledge of football, as but in like your, like your knowledge of playing the game, is high. So yes. if he's asking coaching questions, you should get this. Ask right, me some UEFA. Imagine he's not going. To. <laughs> There's not a UEFA B like <laughs> tick <laughs> cross. Uh... Multiple choice, but yeah, uh, on the upside down board, you can see some names. Mm -hmm. um, they're guests that we've had on, and who's num top? Top is currently Boovy, isn't it? Boovy and FNG. Both yeah, Boovy, Niren. Um, What's it out of? It's out of five. Five out of five. Oh, wow, okay. Um, so we will get your name up there, upside down, eventually. <laughs> yeah. um, Why is it upside down? They flip the board around. Oh, silly. Yeah, it's just Silliness. immature. Yeah. Um, right, yeah, let's go, Jay. Yeah. Cool, so number one, who is the only player to win the Champions League, Europa League, UEFA Super Cup, Club World Cup, the Euros, and the World Cup? Hui. There's only one player to have lifted every major European Cup and both international tournaments. Oh. Mm, I had a guess. I don't think it's him. You can, you can shout names out, but obviously he's not going to give you... you no, you no, no. Talk so it, I guess it's got to be... My thinking is it's got to be either a German player or a, Sp a Spanish player is probably the best shout. Mm. France... France win the Euros. Oh, so you, you, wait, so you reckon it's from that period of where Spain went Maybe. three in a row? Maybe. But then you got to, it can't be someone like who has always played at the top level. Like It can't be a Ramos or a no. Tony Cruz because they haven't played for a Europa League team. That's a, that's a good point. Oh, mate. What, it's Champions League as well, yeah? Champions League as well, yeah. <sighs> it's not, is this just an obvious question? Might be an obvious. Question. I feel like if you don't know it already, you'd be surprised. So I can give you some clues. If no, you really no, no, no. We'll we'll... Am I on the right lines? Like, I'll give you. A, it is a Spanish player. Yeah. So you were pretty. Yeah. Pretty close there. It's from that period, isn't it? Is it obvious? But Barcelona were never in the Europa League. I don't think at that point they were too good. That's what I mean. So, so it's like not... it's not going to be Iniesta, Busquets, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, is it? Who would have left? Who left that Barca team to go to a worse team? I've got team? a guess. Oh, I've got a guess. Do you want, I don't think we've got the same player. All right, okay. I think I don't think I'm right. I'm um, Pedro. 
That's a good guess. Oh. I don't. I, I, Torres hasn't pl- won the Europa League, has he? Fernando Torres. I, I don't know. I don't think. Well, so. it can't be. Well, he's answered no. It is Pedro. Yes. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Who did he win the Europa League with? Chelsea. Chelsea. Uh, yeah. That was the last one. That was his final box. Team. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. what I was mm-hmm. thinking. Fernando Torres. Yeah. But he clearly Different wasn't a time he won the Champions League. Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, nice. That's all right. Yeah. That. Yeah, have you ever got five out of five? No, four out of five. I, I think you have, but like oh, have passing, I? like you were just ah, cheating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like that. But the thing is, like a lot of the time when we have a guest and we like dip in and out. Yeah. So yeah. we'll get like the first question. We we'll go, blah, 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 and then. Mm-hmm. Don't let the guest answer. Uh, and then right. it's like, oh, okay. That was we'll Theo, Theo the other day on the Simon one where he was like, yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. Spreading facts. Question number two. Who is the oldest outfield player to have started an FA Cup final? I heard this in the commentary the other day. Is it not just, is it not just Thiago Silva then? If, it, if you heard it on the comms the other day, it's got to be it just must Thiago be. Silva. Because he's the oldest player on that pitch. I reckon it's Thiago Silva. Started or to played? Start, to a, uh, what did I write down? Start. Started. Because I yeah. think Aspilicueta is older than him. Oh. But if it started, Aspilicueta came on. Thiago Silva's 37. So How must, old is Aspi? I think he's older. Really? I think so. I think he's he's, got, he not he's so, got some legs for 37. Mate, don't, don't, he's a co-owner of Hashtag or investor in Hashtag yeah. as well, so I can't get that wrong. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll say Thiago Silva. I can't, I don't think... I don't think I don't think Asby started anyway. No, he didn't. He came on. Yeah. That's what I mean. So if it started, then Thiago, Thiago Silva. Silva. It is Thiago Silva. Yeah, well done. There's one. It was the first since Stanley Matthews. Wow. 1958. Yeah, there we go. That's what I remember. Yeah. So the, the fact he's that mm, good as well, yeah. mate, at 37, mm-hmm. he, was, he was flawless in that mm. game. He was so good. Anyway, sorry. It's all right. Question number three. What year did Spurs last win the FA Cup? Is it A, 1990, B, 91, C, 92, or D, 93? It's a complete guess. Well, any, any other than 93 makes it over 20 years. Um, and um, I, th- I think it's older guess. than 20 years, isn't it? Was I've 92 got... an answer? 92 yeah, is that's, an answer. That's yeah. my, my answer is 92. Yeah, but I, it's a guess. I don't I know. I think 92. It's 91. Oh, joking. I'm never mm. going to get five. <laughs> <laughs> That's annoying. Yeah. It was against Nottingham Forest. Didn't beat Nottingham I, hope, Forest I, was, I was hoping oh. you'd ask about the... Oh, uh, tw- yeah, if I... Oh, that's terrible logic why? by me. Because I was like, if it's older than 20 years, it's oh, 30 years. 30 years, yeah. Yeah. But that's what, what I meant to say, was if it's older than 30 years, then 92 is not included in that, is it? Because it's no. the 30th year yeah. this year. So uh, you should have worked it out. Yeah, I should have worked it out. Oh, yeah, I was hoping you'd ask about the Carling Cup. I was at that one. Was you? Yeah. Very nice. Mm. That's the last time. I suppose was that was like free tickets with the academy? Yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. Wow. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Shame they weren't better because you'd have got free tickets to more competitions, <laughs> really, weren't it? Yeah. Yeah. Did go to some Champions League games, though, like before they were proper Champions League. So oh, do you see? That, don't tell me you saw the, the Inter, Inter Milan, Milan, yeah. Bale triple. Yeah, yeah. You were there? Yeah, mad, didn't it? That's nuts. Why have we not mentioned mm. that? Well, better the two. I went to both legs of Liverpool Barca. Really? Yeah, that's probably the best. But why did you get tickets for that? First one was uh, Cal. Oh, knew, he no. knew it. Yeah, yeah. You, you got should... invited to that. The recent. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 What Liverpool Barca were you thinking of? No, no, no. I'm just saying when you. The, the Spurs Bale one, it was mm. because you were oh, part right, of right, Spurs. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just got an invite for yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Still. But that's cool. <laughs> yeah. One album, yeah, that one, mm. incredible. A great game, yeah, great game. So number four is a true or false. A player once received houses made of Lego from his club due to a clause in his contract. Is that true or false? As in, he got tricked. Just like they said, they would give him a house, and he a pl- they just turned up. they were he was given houses made of Lego from his club as part of his contract. Oh, but, I, I'm, that, get- I'm a big Ed Sheeran fan. <laughs> <Can> you- <laughs> yeah, Lego yeah. house. Yeah, yeah, I went to that tour. Did you? Yeah, You've been it. everywhere, mate. <laughs> we've, we've replaced Theo with a perfectly appropriate yeah. person that's been there, done that sort of thing. I went to, uh, saw him at Hatfield Galleria in front of like 300 people. Nice. Yeah, really good. Um, I'm going to say true just I because I want true. it to be true. Yeah. And I, I, if, do you have the background on it? I do, yeah. Okay. It's true. Okay. I think it's, it's true. Yes. Yeah. Nice. In, in 2002, German striker Giuseppe Reiner signed for Armenia Bielefeld. I've probably butchered that. 
uh, with a contract that stipulated the club had to build him a house for every year of his contract. The striker failed to specify the size of the property and received a house made of Lego for wow. three years. So they've they've, they've they clearly they pranked him. Well, they clearly yeah, didn't just, want to keep him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe He's he really got nowhere to live. Little do you know, he loved Lego. Yeah, yeah. he was buzzing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all the then, all the kitchen appliances just melting. <laughs> now, <laughs> Question number five is: Who am I? I started my career in England and ended it in Japan after sixteen seasons of professional football. I scored 330 goals throughout my time as a player, came runner-up for the 1986 Ballon d'Or, and I was never sent off in my entire career. I am the joint third highest goal scorer for my country, but I only ever finished fourth in the World Cup. What the... <laughs> what year did, was yeah, he in the running for Ballon d'Or? 1986. 86. Started in England, Started 330 in England. goals, Yeah. ended in Japan. That era is not a good era for me to know about football. Recently? Ended in Japan recently? Not very recently. Well, they were probably... runner-up in 1986. So, so runner-up in 1986, he's, so that's what? His pit, he's, that's... He retired in like 2000. Oh, he retired in no. 94. Retired in 94? Yeah. <laughs> we, you, you weren't even born yet, were you? I was born in 94, yeah. Well, not that. I've yeah, yeah, just turned 28. Years. Yeah, nice. Good birthday. It's all right. Yeah, not bad. How was yours? Well, my birthday was North, North London Derby Five months Day. Ago. So. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was okay. The birthday bit was all right. All right but good. Yeah. Um, Any names? No, none that spring to mind. That m I don't even know anyone. You that weren't keeping it with 86. No, I wasn't. No. <laughs> runners up. No. No. He's, um, so he started in England. So I'm guessing he's going to be, he's going to be European. Mm-hmm. And his his team only ever got to the quarterfinals yeah, in the World yeah. Cup. His team was only his highest. Oh, came fourth. Came fourth. So they got in the third place playoff. Mm -hmm. So semi-finals. That doesn't. I don't know that if that helps. <laughs> 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 that means they must have made a semi-final then. Yeah. In which case, isn't an Englishman. No. Because the only semi-final that we've reached in how many years mm. is 2018. Yeah. Because I was going to say Gary Lineker, but I don't think he finished in Japan. <laughs> Yeah. Did you? Because they 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 run this at the they run this in the studio to see if like people have born. Oh really? Did anyone get this? None of them got it. Right. right well, yeah. good. We were just sat here looking at lemons. Do you want to? Is is he European? He is European. Yeah. Okay. I'm assuming. Might be like. Ooh, could be. Okay, I've got a guess. Ah, no, Germany would have won it in his period. 86 I was going to say Klinsmann he's he's only ever been fourth or the country's only ever been fourth his highest the position that he got highest when was playing for his country was fourth but that doesn't mean that the country's never won a world cup doesn't necessarily mean that right like. okay I it's not Klinsmann is it it's not Klinsmann no it's a German man though I tell by his reaction <laughs> it's not <laughs> he's got him cracked it's not a German oh it's, it's not, not a German, a German. Um, 86 86 who else was in the running? Ballon 86 that, yeah. Ballon d'Or. For me, I, I thought... I, I'm thinking Rude Hollett, but I don't know if that's true. I thought Rude Hollett maybe finished a bit later than that. Started his career in England? I don't know if he did. I I'd, imagine, I'd imagine it would have been not him. Holland. I think you're going to kick yourself, man. Arsenal player. It's not an Arsenal player. You're, you're kind of a Spurs fan, though, so it, it must be... Oh, come on. We, got, we can get this. Don't let these idiots in the studio out out do this. <laughs> it can't be this obvious, can it? He's a goal scorer too, by the way. He's yeah, three thirty. Yeah, that, he's, he's got to be a striker, isn't he? Yeah, joint third highest goal scorer for his country. <laughs> for his country. For his country. And he's European. Joint third, European, 330 goals, started in the Prem, finished in 94. Only ever played in three countries throughout his entire career. Only ever Japan, played in... England, and... I can give you one more. Do you want me to give you the other country that he played for? Yeah. Spain. In Spain? In Spain. Yeah. 
It isn't Lineker, is it? Is it Gary Lineker? It is Gary Lineker. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! <laughs> I said it? that so early as well. Did you say that? That's yeah. why li- you literally said it and I was like... No, ah. <laughs> well done, you. I'm happy with that. Yeah. I'm just happy. I'm just not happy. It took me five minutes after saying his name to that's confirm why, the That's answer. why I was like, you're going to kick yourself. You literally said uh, it. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mm. Fair play. Did he finish in Japan? Yeah, he played like t- his last two seasons. He just played for some Japanese team. Mental. Yeah. Well, Fair travel, play. man. He's a well-travelled man. He played, um, played for Barcelona as well. That's he? what. That's yeah. when you said Spain. I was like, it's it's going mm. in the Three thirty goals, though. Yeah. And I did think when you said third highest goal scorer in the country, I was like, I don't know that. It's, yeah. But that obviously, my deduction of it can't be an Englishman <laughs> <laughs> by making a step forward. I was like, well, <laughs> okay, right. So quiz done. Are there any interesting footballer stories that you have? From uh, from your time growing up, got I got some. Uh, I mean, you should have you should have asked me to think about some. Really, I would have. Uh, yeah, I, I mean that's yeah. bad research on my behalf. But um, I've got I've got a funny um, like academy story. Yeah, yeah. Just I, I won't name names. Okay. We, well, we never get to ask the yeah, co-host yeah, yeah. stories, but okay. Fun. So um, I can't remember who we were playing, but uh, under eighteen game. And uh, we must have been losing at half time, but we scored a goal just before half time. So I reckon it was like either two, we were losing 2 1 or, or losing 3 1, just scored to make it 3 1. Yeah, yeah. And uh, whoever shot, uh, the striker like got a touch on the line. So we came, we were coming into the change room and we were sitting in there before the manager and the coach came in and they were arguing about who scored. Yeah. And the manager just walked in. He's a bit of a bit of a hard man. And there was always fruit on the side, like, you know, like halftime oranges. Yeah, yeah. He just goes over, grabs one of the oranges, turns around and flings it at the wall. And the player, like, who was arguing, just ducked and it, like, splatted behind him. The orange <laughs> went everywhere. And literally, I've never seen someone shit themselves as much as that. Like, because this guy was, good, like, he would have fucked yeah, yeah, someone yeah, yeah. if you'd done something wrong. But he was just he just went absolutely went off on one like we're losing playing shit and you're arguing about who scored a goal oh okay um but that's that was his issue but yeah. the, the fact that orange just splattered and went everywhere naturally like after that we fucking pissed with var wins. would that have been ruled out was the guy the off, so- oh i don't know i don't know it was more that they were arguing who scored and, and we they're were still losing, losing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um any other like really funny when you say you can't name names that they're obviously like no, decent. not necessarily. Okay. I just don't want to put anyone like. All right. it's, well, the, the, we're obviously kids, and there's a guy throwing oranges. Yeah, so I don't yeah. want to name names there. I thought you meant as in the players. Um, like, turn the, around it would. It was the team with. We had some. I mean, who did you play? Yeah, with? I was going to say. Asked. Yeah, naming other players that were in that team. Well, year above, there were a couple in the year above, like Andros Townsend, year above, um, and then players that I played with, Alex Pritchard. Okay. Uh, he won like Championship Player of the Year. Yeah, I'm yeah. not sure where he is now at the moment. Um, obviously, Harry Kane, Ryan Fredericks at uh, West, Ham. West Ham at the moment. Yeah. Uh, Tom Carroll, yeah. I think, is at Swansea. Not sure if he's still there. Um, a lot of players that are playing like non league. Who else? Uh, Harry Winks was a couple of years below. Um, so, yeah, some, some yeah, yeah. unbelievable players. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, I can't really. Yeah, if you'd given me, I'll probably as soon as sorry, I leave. Yeah, sorry. no, no, you're good. As I soon as really I leave, I think of time some. to prepare for the fact that no. you weren't even a guest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what about you? Any good stories that you haven't told before? Um, it's hard on the spot, isn't it? It is hard on the spot, man. Right. We've it. never had this flipping. No, wow, this dynamic is very interesting. Uh, no, no, not really. Oh, there was uh, obviously a story from Rebel was um, we played Paul in Amsterdam and I just beat everyone. That's a really good one. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I don't think you played me. Oh! I'm pretty good. I used to have a pool table growing up. Did you? Mm-hmm. You got one here? No. Uh, need one. Just whip one out <laughs> yeah. and finish the well, show like that. <laughs> <the> studio. <laughs> no, I don't, have any, I don't have any really interesting footballer stories. Any, or that I can remember. What about just a, a cool story? <sighs> um... No, nah. I should I should have prepared. Yeah, you, if you'd asked me, I'd have brought one with me. Um, but no, uh, usually to finish off the show, technically this is actually going out before the final game of the final is, game week yeah. of the season. But because you don't support anyone particularly, mm-hmm. this should be quite an impartial 
and partial uh, segment of today's show. Predictions. Predictions. You do watch the show. Yeah, well, I do watch the show. Yeah. Uh, so it's final game week of the season, which, you know, we finally be released from this FPL hell, which <laughs> is absolutely amazing. How have you done? Um, I'm currently winning in okay, many leagues. Nice. Yeah. But uh, th- it'll all come to fruition on Sunday because we're doing a group stream of all the oh, FPL nice. boys. Okay, cool. Is so, it tight anywhere? Uh, yes, it is tight. Yeah. What's, is there a forfeit? There is a forfeit. It's pay for a holiday. Wow. Anywhere? Cornwall. Okay. But it's... <laughs> no, no, no. Not the YouTuber answer I was ex- uh, Yeah, which is, well, I mean, it was supposed to be like a domestic one, but that's, it's still pretty spendy oh, to Cor- go to yeah, Cornwall. Oh, yeah. And Cornwall's beautiful from what I hear. It is. Have you never been? No. Oh, I've played no. football there once before. Devon? Yeah. Or Cornwall? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> is it the same place? <laughs> no, not the same place. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that is the current table standing. The bottom two pay and... The, wow. There's one point okay, between. So there's one point between uh, bottom two and so Ethan safe can, zone. Ethan's risky. Yeah. What's I've I haven't played FPO in a while. What's the standard points you get? Um, well, the game week's not finished, which is why there's yeah. such a massive uh, deviation. But but Harry's safe, right? He ain't gonna. There's yeah, not gonna be a two hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he keeps putting in the chat that he's not, but he definitely yeah. is. I mean, people can find out. Because on the final day of the season, we are actually live streaming a watch along. Um, and the games for that final day are as follows. All played at the same time. Do you like that about the final day? Yes, Pretty I good. do. Yeah. Especially like, I always think back of the, the Man City Man U. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. yeah. That was unbelievable. It never happened otherwise, no. right? It's true. Uh, first, I said first, alphabetically, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, Arsenal, Everton. What do you reckon? Do I have to do scoreline? Do I have to do scoreline? Uh, draw. Just, just, Really? Mm-hmm. Score draw. So so Arsenal really no chance again top no. four. Oh, all right. I think Everton I, I think Everton I think Everton will um will play well. I I don't mind them. I think they look okay. Yeah. They didn't look great the other day, especially that Rondon tackle. I don't oh, know what mate, was happening. Imagine there. coming on and then 2 minutes getting sent off. Well, then. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been there. That's obviously probably well, get sent off. No, I've been sent no, off I mean times. I mean outrageous challenges. Have I? Well, I've, I've seen you get. Oh, yeah. Camped. Well, Big G killed me. Yeah. Yeah. Just asking. Yeah. You yeah. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm usually doing them on, <laughs> on people. Yeah. Clamping. Yeah, you're the big man. Um, Brentford Leeds. Do you, want, do you want it? You add yours as well. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Arsenal. Uh, I have to, but it's at home, okay. final day of the season. I think most home teams have the advantage, really. Mm-hmm. Uh, Not Arsenal. <laughs> Brentford Leeds. <laughs> Leeds win. Okay. Uh, like three, two or something. Do you reckon? Yeah, just Leeds can't keep a clean sheet. That's that's. But they all score goals. Is that motherly bias there? You hope. No, I just I do, I do I like watching them, especially. I think Jesse Marsh is decent. I think he needs a bit of time. Um, are you saying that because he shares your first name, or are you just? No, I just I think he's. All right. Don't you think he's done well? I think he's all right. Not yeah. not necessarily at Leeds, but in general, yeah, like yeah, what yeah, he's yeah. done with Leipzig. Uh, yeah, no, I yeah. agree. Um, so I just think he needs a bit of time. I do like the way he tries to play and his, yeah. his coaching style, and I think he talks really well. He does. Yeah, he's, he's, he's like an he's intelligent after, yeah. m- manager. Um, so yeah, Leeds win. Okay, go I'm going to go draw. I think they get a point, which is uh, hopefully at that point enough for safety for them. I don't know. Burnley've got to lose both then. But they are against Villa and Newcastle, which is difficult. Mm, yeah, it's definitely possible. Speaking of uh, Burnley, Newcastle, draw. So they get a point. Mm. Ooh, I'm going to go Newcastle. I know it's a way. I know it's a tough. More, what do you? Are you? No, no, no. Don't ask oh. it. Just for fun. <clears throat> yeah, um, I'm just writing no, them down. W- why are you writing them down? So that I can, uh, but keep we've never the... consulted them ever. No, mm. so I don't just know why. They, yeah, yeah, just write. Yeah. If you ever want to look back, I have, yeah. I've been going back and actually looking at oh, what really? we've got. Yeah. Well, so we've never found out what happens so. from. I think like the Big G episode, you've won every one bar one. Oh, me personally. Yeah, as oh, in okay. like you've got the most points. Right, 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 um, right. But we never. No. But it used to be a really fun thing yeah. that we did, and now it's <laughs> Jamie's. This is a hobby. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just writes them down. Uh, Brighton, West Ham. Brighton win. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I think, I think West Ham so. capitulated a little bit. I think it's definitely like home advantage final day yeah. of the season. Uh, so Europa League, up. ever since then, I think they've just Well, they give a City a... Yeah, yeah okay. it's true. That's, that is very true. But Brighton look good. Do you reckon... I know this is a bit of a tangent, but mm. um, there are rumours. Do you reckon Jared Bowen is a good replacement for Mohamed Salah at Liverpool? 
a good replacement. Yeah. Is that a joke? <laughs> well, I mean, they're going no, to they're I, gonna I, have to replace him eventually. No, I don't. Really? You don't think no. Bowen would be good at... I've, I'm not saying he wouldn't be good, but as a, a good replacement, no. You don't think Bowen's capable of getting 20 goals a season in that team? Or more? Uh, potentially, but he, he's, he's very different. I think in that Liverpool team, you've got to be a dribbler as a front three player. And Bowen, I think, is more of a like... Um, Who's a good example in that team? No one in Liverpool. But he's more of a just he'll one and two touches. I feel like he's more effective in the final third, whereas Salah can pick the ball up on the halfway line and run with it. Right. So no, I don't think so. Okay. Just a question. Yeah. What about you? You uh, like him? I, I like Jared I like Bowen. him as a player I too. I just, would you take him to Qatar? Mm, he's not going to start. Oh, so you... Okay. It, 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 maybe as a squad player, but... He's not going to get in my... He wouldn't be one of my first five choices. Who are the first five choices? If I, if I had to put you on the spot right now. As, as a what position? We take forwards, ignoring Harry Kane, because he's okay, obviously... Dead cert. Um, Sancho, Foden. I'm going to miss someone, but Rashford. you got like Raheem. Yeah, Raheem. That's four. You take Marcus Rashford? Yeah. Okay. Uh, who else? I think Rashford would be a better replacement for Salah. Really? Not that he would go there. Interesting. Yeah. Well, just because of his finishing just, ability? Yeah, I just feel like that ability to run with the ball is more important okay. at Liverpool. Uh, who else? Uh, you've, got, you've got Bowen, Grealish. Grealish uh, is going to... I'm still... I'm, I'm not sold on Grealish still. Really? Mm. Good. Don't get me wrong. Good player. But I think he is... It seems to be one of those players that uh, big fish in a small pond suits yeah. him better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially the, the, because the, the of his swagger. The, yeah. yeah. Um, well, when you get a Gucci deal, mate, you obviously think yeah. you're, you're Gucci. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Um, so yeah, so so we're taking four. Just yeah, I mean you, they take more than four, right? But yeah, yeah. Bowen can go, but he's not. <clears throat> he ain't getting any minutes. Who else is it? I was going to say, I've got a question. If you could only pick one, would you take Bowen or Saka to Qatar? Oh, see. Saka, you get more a bit more versatility there, don't you? Yeah, but, he can um, play more of a mm. midfielder as well. Yeah, I'd take Saka. Would you take Saka at Liverpool? Because he's a, he's a yeah? guy Again, that I, runs I, with the ball. See, and... that's, what, that's what I mean. Yeah, a player like that. Yeah. I really like Smith Rowe, by the way. Take him? Or not, not as a winger. No, I mean for oh, England. Yeah, 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 I'd take him. Okay. I think it's good to take young players. Yeah. I think you need. I think that's what Germany did really well. Um, is when they were not obviously <laughs> recently in their, <laughs> yeah, yeah. their performance, but like when they were winning the World Cup, they had a lot of younger players there, yeah. and now suddenly they're starting to flourish a little bit. Um, so yeah, yeah. I mean, that's it's going to be an age old debate until mm. November, really, isn't it? Who do you take? Well, it's also it's just it's personal preference, isn't it? Yeah, Gaza is going to pick who he wants. Who he does is. he like? Yeah. We don't know. He, ha he wears the waistcoat. He gets the choice. <laughs> um, going back to predictions, mm -hmm. Chelsea Watford. Interesting. Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Saw that coming. <laughs> yeah, Chelsea as well. Crystal Palace, Man United. I'm going to go Palace home win. Have Palace got, are they fighting for anything? No, but yeah. Celeste Park is yeah. a place. I say, that... I say Palace as well. I like them. Yeah. Um, no, I'll go United. Wow. Yeah. Last day of the season, United away win. I did see that one episode where Theo got them all right, by the way. N nine out of ten. Oh, nine out of ten. Nine yeah. out of ten. Okay. Let's sorry. not... Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, that sorry. Was, sorry. Yeah, there was a We've game... We've not made history history yet. No. It's yet to happen. This could be it. And if you actually do that, um, we're going to be very annoyed, but... Annoyed? Yeah, because neither of us have got ten out of ten. Be happy for me. <laughs> yes, true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Leicester Southampton. Mm, Southampton look good at the moment. Leicester. What? Southampton look good at the moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's too quick. <laughs> too quick. Leicester right. to win. Yeah, me too. Leicester at home. Uh, Liverpool Wolves. What you, uh, sorry, tangent. Um, what do you think of Ward-Prowse? Incredible. Take him? Yeah. He offers something different that nobody else uh, does. Play him? Maybe not. Uh, First couple games, see how he does, and then yeah. Would you, uh, where would you, like, would you put him in a top four midfield? I would have him. Would you have him at Arsenal? Starting? Yeah. Starting? Yeah. Yeah? Comfortably. 
I mean, because he works hard too. Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. Like, if we're replacing someone like El Nenny or Jacker with Ward Prowse, mm -hmm. you're it's like adding, for like, yeah. but you but get additional something. bonuses, yeah. right? Um, that's what we've missed in Thomas Party anyway. Yeah. That's why that's why the season's crumbled. Mm -hmm. Like we've got um, we've got Party and Tierney injured, mm -hmm. two of our most influential people. And we have Cedric coming on there. I don't want to talk about him, <laughs> but you know, it's what it is. Uh, Liverpool Wolves. Liverpool. Cool. Yep. Same. City Villa. City. No Coutinho 91st minute equaliser to give Liverpool the Premier League. I would love a bit of drama yeah. on the last day. Can't see it happening. Okay. Not, well, not there anyway. Maybe, maybe I think the the relegation battle could be. Oh no! Like, what you mean is the real drama is Norwich beating Spurs, and then we get fourth, no. right? Ah, oh, never mind. Spurs, uh, yeah. Spurs to win that one. Okay, yeah, you fair agree? enough. No, I, I do agree, and it's very upsetting to see this season develop the way it has, especially when you consider there's an Amazon documentary on Arsenal. Yeah, all or nothing. Wow, that'll be good. Do you I've, not know this? No. Oh, dude. Yeah. I um, I haven't finished the Spurs one. It was like... You don't it, want to ruin it. <laughs> 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 yeah, my, uh, my, my heart is in the right place. Yeah. I, I, no, I've uh, just never got around to finishing it. I was enjoying it. I prefer... I did prefer, like, I love the City one. Do you prefer Mourinho at Spurs or Conte at Spurs? Because they're, they're similar personalities, right? Mm, I think... I don't, I, not that he's not a good manager, but I don't rate Mourinho as one of the top anymore. Right. I think he... Well, he's Europa League final. Was it a yeah. Conference League final. Yeah. 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 He's, I think he, his persona, he's still living off that persona right. when he needs, to, he needs to adjust. He needs to completely change his... But do you not think in, like, if you watch him when he's doing punditry, mm -hmm. he's like a really likeable Jose Mourinho. I think, he knows, I think he's really smart yeah. in regards to he knows how he's perceived. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's, he sometimes, it's almost like it, it creeps out of him. Yeah. Like when he was at Spurs, like when people would start to question him and he'd say like, you've got to respect me, I've won all these Champions Leagues. It's like, imagine a player did that. Yeah, yeah. But, imagine, do you not, but, but they are entitled a little bit because that, that's are, what they're paid for, no? As a manager. To what? To win. Yeah, but he wasn't. <laughs> yeah it's true yeah it's true it's, I just think you can't it's like Messi coming out imagine if Messi came out now and say you lot are giving me all this criticism like look what I've done if he did do that would you look at him less oh I'd love him <laughs> <laughs> no yeah I think that my guy I did, uh, did you watch um, did you watch the interview he did when he was uh, just before he was leaving Barca it was really right. interesting um, just him talking about like the whole situation and I always, I'm, ve I'm very, very sceptical. Whenever someone comes out and says something, especially if it's in newspapers, I mean, I've, at Spurs, I remember there were stories coming out that just were false. I can't remember yeah, any yeah. specific examples. Fake news. But yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm very, very hesitant. But watching that was interesting, just hearing him speak about like him wanting to leave and then wanting to stay. And it was just, yeah, it was really interesting. Yeah. But... Yeah, you got a, you got a. But if Ronaldo does it, you're like, what are you doing? No, I, 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 I think again, I think Ronaldo's so smart with his choices of moves and like the way he acts and what he does. I think he's really smart. Yeah, he's not not the best footballer, but <laughs> <laughs> channeling my inner fear. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> uh, before we end, mate, because this has been an absolute pleasure, we get the guests to sign the shirt. Okay, your kind of guest kind of saved us out of podcast of me talking to the camera on my <laughs> own so um this will be given away after sunday it will be because yeah. this is the prize so am i the last one yeah uh, well, maybe yeah one more? yeah kind of well, well, well no, technically yeah. well technically we'll, for we'll, the season but i mean we'll give yeah. it away before the next season starts so potentially have a few more signatures by that point Possibly, yeah. um but you've signed football shirts before obviously I have. Yeah, there you, you go. Sign it now. This I'm expecting big things. Okay, can you pull it? A I bit? can pull it. Yeah, it's, like a, it's the like big a, error that most people. Yeah, make. it's a model model pro decision to just stretch it out. Need a third. This hand. is actually like a match quality shirt. Yeah, as well. I can feel I mean, it. Yeah, it's a bit thick though. This is old school, isn't it? Yeah, it's old school. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that pro. is nice. That is very good. Very good. There we go. Um, but yeah, if you think you have a chance of winning this shirt i.e. you're probably in like the top 100 FPL players worldwide, the last chance to join the league will be this podcast, which is GQX NGC before Game Week 38. Um, we'll get a few more signatures for this shirt itself. But beyond that, that was a pleasure, mate. Thank you for coming on. Very fun. Thank you. Expressing your story. It was a, a lot of fun and learned a lot of things. Hopefully people watching it uh, can do too. And any final words for like, 
people that you know aspiring footballers that have been in your situation or are in your none just <laughs> <laughs> don't give up give up <laughs> yeah just go give up home. now no just just i think the biggest thing um just in life and in football is enjoy it if you're not enjoying it there's you're not you it's not worth it whether even if you're earning 200 grand a week it's like aswa cotter isn't it and he's like i don't even like football yeah. i'm just here yeah <laughs> but but i think then you can you can channel other obviously money does open doors yeah big doors big doors because <laughs> you can afford them yeah <laughs> and on that note <laughs> we'll be uh seeing you sunday for the biggest stream this channel has ever seen with some of the greatest names in uh, uk youtube <laughs>